Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Guardian Angel. You're doing well. Let's chat a little bit. Let's just refreshing my uh, memory with some of the notes. Oh, oops. <laughs> Didn't realize that was selected. I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's sort of what I'm talking about. So, I was taking a look at the original list. Oh, it's not popped up here. Oh, that's annoying. Let me close that. Anyways, taking a look at the original list. I was trying to find it on the website, but I ended up just opening up Steam, sadly. Uh, where essentially they made a lot of card balance changes. So I think we'll do a quick little check of some things. I don't think there's anything too crazy in here. Oh, I want to see if, uh, what's it called? It's still bugged. I want to see if the raider cards are still bugged. Let's find out. We'll switch scenes. Give the game a moment. Oh, really fell asleep, of course. Hope you're doing well. I'm feeling, uh, I don't know, kind of tired. It's just been a long day. The downside of Fridays. No worries. deck we're going to use for cover. Did they fix this bug? Yes. Don't remember when this was. I couldn't see it when I saved it, unfortunately. Um, probably save over this one in case it's not this one. Wait, what? Oh, that's not right. What is this? Dungeon Drafters, please. Seriously? Chad, you've got to be kidding me. Who playtested this? How did I end up in a state where I can't get rid of this menu? I know, I know, even Blue Dada thinks it's the Terrace Farm this fall. What is this, chat? Come on. Did you see me on, like, the world's wildest tour? What the heck was that? Uh -oh. That is so we stupid. I don't even know what I got rid of, because I was just menuing randomly. Like, chat, that took me, like, literally... I don't know, 30 seconds to break? And that was only partially intentional. I was trying to close my deck list, because I couldn't remember what deck this was that I was editing. It's like, let me see the right-hand side, because I want to see if I put certain cards in it, rather than scroll through the whole left side. And it, uh... It's fine. To answer the question, it is the deck I'm thinking it is. I have no idea what I removed. Could not even remotely tell you what I just removed. Yeah, that was pretty special. I don't think it was another driving slice. Shine spark. I have another shine spark. No. Yeah, no. Okay, so what did I get rid of then? I know I only had two kunai, a two hook. I had a lot of ninja backpack because I like that ability. I honestly don't remember what it was. That is so unfortunate. And I guess I could always just add a hook shot. I think the problem still is that I'm my instinct as a new player 
or for somebody that hasn't played in a while, is to hit B to cancel, and that that removes the card, and it's not the cancel button. Which again, we talked, we complained about this a while ago, but I'm gonna reiterate that really really annoys me still. Oh, did you see that? The UI glitched again. Oh, come on, Dungeon Drafters. Come on, how do you how do you not catch this? Look at the bottom of the screen chat. What's happening here? Look at that. No. Dungeon Drafters, how did you make it worse than before? Honest question. I'm disappointed, chat. I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed. Anyway, I wanted to do something else unrelated to breaking the UI. I mean, you had, like, no time limit to fix this. You still messed it up. I'm disappointed. As somebody that does, like, or has to handle a lot of QA testing, I'm very disappointed. That was just, like, really basic regression testing. Like, these are the things where, like, if you had automated unit testing, or you went through and you were doing negative testing, you would have caught it pretty fast. I don't know if it's just, like, an inexperienced thing, but it's, like, did you not think of trying all the actions when you impact the menu to see if they're working correctly? Because none, none of them were just then. I'm just saying, I'm gonna call them out. <laughs> right, chat? All I, all I deal with all day long is IT. So, like, you gotta be kidding me when this stuff happens. Like, that doesn't have to be perfect, but that is ridiculous. It's actually worse than before. I was so happy because I thought they finally balanced it. Oh, I just like that so much. I have a question from like a UI perspective. Is there a reason the character status in Curio are not grayed out when this is happening? Curious. Alright, I wanted to try what was it called? This. Did they fix this? This is all- this has been bothering me for a while. It's like, I couldn't tell if they did anything for this. Oh. I think they fixed it? Okay, so they did fix this. This wasn't listed. This is one of the skills where I was like, we used it earlier and it said it damaged you, but it doesn't. Okay, so they did fix that. That was gonna bother me. I don't remember how to leave, but I think we gotta go up here. I can have my turn though, which is funny. Okay, so they- okay, they did fix that one even though I 100% did not read that in the patch notes. And I know I didn't, because I was looking for it explicitly. Alright, uh, so... let's remember some things. There's some... nerfs here? I see the downside is I can't tell unless we play with each of these individual things what the nerfs really do. Where is barbed wire? Yeah. Do they buff barbed wire? I was complaining about that on my other stream. I remember this explicitly because I was like, what is the point of this thing where it's like conditional? And it only occasionally happens compared to the absolute stupidity, where is it, of things like Stormbringer, and then there's the other one? Yeah. Or like Spear Charm. <laughs> I'm like, they both do very similar things and were way easier to get, so they buffed the damage by one, so just two damage now. On the downside, they kind of nerfed Groot, which honestly, it's already not that great. There's a lot of things that doesn't work on already. I don't, I don't know why they nerfed it on some of the bosses. Like, the, the root damage is up, but like, it still doesn't apply to a lot of things. Next inflicted the stone suffered increased their value by one. The so Rosetta Stone seems kind of interesting in like a stun-based build. Maybe that was the intent for things like the horn. 
But anyway, let, let's leave the menu. Oh, they didn't fix this. And I hated so much chat. What is what is the point of defaulting me to the town map? I almost never want to look at the town map. So we only have like one super clear left. I guess I can quote unquote cast a taboo card. I could do some of the stranger things, but otherwise, the only thing I have left are the challenges for the speed. So, I could do the Dune Dome challenge, do Way of the Stranger. Let's do Way of the Stranger first, and then we'll maybe wrap up with the other ones. I don't think I've ever looked at the townspeople log, I'm gonna be real with you. Apparently I'm still missing people. So I've apparently not interacted with everybody that I should have. No, don't remove my packs. No. <laughs> Otherwise, that whole challenge is going to take forever. Is there somebody I didn't talk to in here? The game's trying to give me tips, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoil it for you. I don't really care. I like how they say, you know what, actually, we're going to talk about this one. This, uh, this one actively makes me mad. Using carts with grid triggers is pretty dangerous, but it's worth it if you learn how to avoid damage with shield and immunity. But you don't, you don't give any shield or immunity in the raider pack. <laughs> Stupid. You should have done that. <laughs> Roll my eyes. Don't make me open up that raider pack again. It's a wall and nothing for defense. Which is fine, not everything needs it, but then like if you're gonna build this whole thing where it's like ultra glass cannon, maybe maybe don't put that on your early cards. I'm rolling my eyes at that person. Let me talk to this person. Regarding following me as some spreads for doing the right thing. You told me I hope so I'll do just that. I'm assuming some of this is... So I guess there's some side conversations I could have been doing. Red Adventure I can't interact with. There's the Shinobi. Hmm. We'll explore to see if there's anything else I didn't interact with. Welcome, Kerr. Yeah, you, you missed me. I already broke the menu. <laughs> I kid you not, Kirk, it took me like 20 seconds. It was very sad. I broke it twice, technically. But yeah, it's still not working properly with controller. Oh, I don't think I've seen our masterpieces. Sure, let's say yes to seeing our masterpieces. I knew you had good taste. Please have a look at my work. They're pretty great. Visible segments, nostalgic energy. Boredom in full color, black abstraction. A certain rolling tunnel. I'm guessing these are all game art parodies. I want to say like a certain rolling tunnel is Chrono Trigger. I'm assuming these two are like Pokemon. I don't know enough about the upper right or bottom left. And then this one's just this one. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Why why would I ever want this on? Oh no. Let's never talk to you again. <laughs> that that was horrible. I that was like unplayable. Like, actually legit unplayable. 
skulls are found at this island. Time to get to work. Blah, blah, blah. That is certainly a feature. Yeah, we gotta go back to him eventually. I've done that ice champ before. If I ever activated the painter feature, I've definitely forgotten, but that was horrendous. Alright, we're looking for NPCs. I'm missing like seven people. I mean, I'm thinking some are in the arena, don't get me wrong, but I don't think there's like that that many. Oh, I can't interact with the telescope. I mean, I can scroll the camera up. It's fine. Actually, let me read this again. Reports say there's a mysterious locked door in the last floor of many dungeons. This to be a trick to relate it. Accomplishment during the crawl. Oh, he's just telling you how to get into lock room. That's fine. Change my book color. Which I guess I could in theory. I can't go in there still, so then maybe there's something I can interact with in there later. I hope I talk to you explicitly. they'll ever finish their building or I gotta beat the game first or something. Maybe they do something later. I'm just gonna talk with all the people to see if I can fill out more of the book. I in the bank we haven't talked to. The warden is done. I went into this house before, but she has a new quest. Listen, I got a new lead on a rare car. One's unusual heroic at the Traveler Archetype. Here we go, chat, it paid off. For one of the scholars, the Master Oracle area got in from an exploration in the northern region of the Isle. Luck would have it, they aren't on an adventure, so they're allowed to give cards to you. Try to convince that person to give you the card. And if I register the card in my ledger, I'll see that the card is yours. The hero is the talk of the town. If you ask, everyone will trade or give you cards. Those are allowed, of course. Many returners are cursed to be unable to trade or give cards to each other. So get to it. Again, the person is one of the scholars in the Master Oracle area. Okay. That's neat, I guess. Master Oracle. Why do I not remember where the Oracle is? The wind person's above us. I'm, like, blanking on the Oracle. I don't think we talked to the Oracle. Wind person's up here. I uh, talked to the butterfly. Is there anybody over here I didn't talk to? I think so. Fine, I'll consult your map. Yeah, so I'm still missing townspeople. This super helped. Oh, unless the Oracle was the dark person. Never mind, maybe that's not. I had to think about that. I was like, I was like, what did the Oracle person look like? And I'm like, oh right. See, the problem is like we completed the challenges so fast for them, I don't remember them. They're they're not like the raider where I had to keep going back for them over and over. Maybe it's you. Rare Traveler card. Yeah, I got one when I was doing field research in the northern area. Yeah, because I don't remember this character. After you defeated the Guardians, went to study the effects of their demise, and found the card in a ruin. Oh, you want it? Sure, you may take it. No use for it since I'm not an adventurer myself. Here, may find good use in your capable hands. Okay. So I guess we'll check on, on the card collector more. I kind of thought we were done, but maybe it's because I beat another thing. Oh, you got it. Golden Phoenix, is it? It's a powerful card by its description. 
Well, I registered in my ledger, so here, it's yours now. Take good use of it, hero. Oh man, did Traveler get another good card? What is this? Why can't I view the card preview? Why do you tease me so? Right, chat? That was just a tease. I get to see what it is. Assuming it's a five star. Teleport to target location and zip back attacking zip units. I mean, I think I have to take that. The so five adrenaline, five ninja backpack. Big Bats Dive, One Driving Slice, Hit Vault Card. As many boomerangs as I can handle. And I need to take, before I get too much further, I'll get two Jettison, two Hooks, two Shuriken. Then we went like, Five Brit, because that thing is stupid. Aerial Ace is so good. We want Max Jetpack. We'll take four Shine Sparks. Um, Hurricane Storm's pretty cheap. Take an Axe Spin. Five Pounces. One Bombing Jump. Five shock jumps. Two sharp dashes. Make sure I have some mobility. They technically nerfed quick jump, but I never use that ability, so I don't feel impacted at all. Uh, so I still have a lot of things left. 17 more cards. Um... anything else I super wanted from this. I guess I'll take another shark and storm. What's the difference between sharp dash and keen dash? If the target inflicting one to zip. Oh, keen dash is just the better version of this. Oh no, but I get a kill with it. Oh, maybe not then. I'll take one more sharp dash. One keen dash. Three hook shots for mobility. If at one AP recast. One more teleport option. I feel like I need a pierce. Bullseye was really good. Oh, because that's like the shiny version. Honestly, Bull Die having like Ember is probably fine. I don't know if I really need the other tiles at all. Heartseeker is okay. Escape Route, I don't think I have a reason to use it. Headhunt does ridiculous damage. I've, I have no reason to not at least try to put that in the deck once. And another Axe Spin. I think they buffed Cardinal Shot. I guess I could try Cardinal Shots. I remember it was like too far away for it to be useful. Maybe they changed it so it's more useful now. Honestly, Shadow Walk might be my final draw card here. Plus, it gives me more stealth. We know how broken stealth is. I'll try something like this, I guess.
So I guess I'll check one other area and then we'll move on. So yeah, so some of the cards look cleaned up perk, but like others are still not functioning as intended. Mostly UI. Oh, can we finally complete all these challenges or no? That is so sad. What am I missing? Meditation? I think we got an opportunity to get that once. I guess I could double check. I think that was from like one of the rather annoying places to go. Perfect mayhem! Welcome, Tiki. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, both of those are from Magma City. Okay, so if I do the final area, I should get it. Otherwise, we cleared everything. Batman and Robin cheated, but I got better. Alright, hear that, Tiki. Yeah, let's see if this is good enough. I wonder if I don't have enough jettisons. You know what? I feel like I don't have enough jettisons. Let me get rid of... I'm gonna keep exactly one keen dash. I'm just thinking about what to get rid of that I don't feel is like super needed. I guess I don't need this many bullseyes. I think I'd rather have hard. I'd rather have AP gain. I should have a little more. Let's see if I like this or not. I don't have like a, a lot of big payoff cards, but I should have a lot of draw stuff. Do we have to go to? Anything in particular I wanted to deal with the stealth of Doom Dome. We have Strider Gloves already, so we also... I can also take advantage of that, I guess, if I want to draw more cards. I'm just trying to think if there's something better that I should be using. Like more AP. One AP after canceling a recast. That one's actually really good with uh, Pounce, but... I don't think I'm gonna build a deck around that. And a combat heal town. Hmm. I don't know if any of these are really anything I'm interested in, sadly. Yeah, they made Vampire Hood better, which is really funny for the Raider Challenge, where we just chose not to play them. Love the optimal play to enjoy your time as raiders to not play raider cards. I mean, triggering precision is not hard to get. Hunter's Eye might be something I start leaning towards, maybe. Yeah, so maybe with four jettisons purely for AP, this is good enough. I mean, am I wrong though? So we're we're gonna play risky. I don't really care about card gain at this point. So we have to clear it in X number of turns. I wonder if that counts out of combat or just in combat. If it counts out of combat, this is gonna be a hard challenge. Like genuinely. I, I just don't know if it does or not. If it counts in combat, that's not as bad. I don't have as much to worry about. Otherwise I need to be like zipping every single time I take a step. Combat turns. Okay, good. I was gonna be like, man, can you imagine the intensity of me hookshotting, like, out of every room and flying and everything? Like, that would be so miserable, chat. I wonder if it's worth getting the thing where I can see the exit. But are you just dead? That's hilarious. Double shot is so good. Alright chat, double shot is actually got here. Never doubt the double shot. If that was if that was the shrine to see the map, I was gonna lose my mind. So I could get energy here a lot of different ways. 
I love that the there's an energy gain card with grit. Why is it this on Raider, by the way? <laughs> Riker, where where is this for Raider? <laughs> Why does Traveler have better grit cards? <laughs> so unfair. Uh, let me think. I could hit that guy to knock him out of stealth, which might be worth it. I was just seeing if there's anywhere where I can poly hit. It doesn't look like there is. I could gain the initiative. Killing the other guy's not a problem. I think... I gotta go for something like this to make him visible to me. We definitely AP up here. Oh, I can't do that at point blank. Oh. Would have changed my decision slightly. Uh, we're gonna have to get bailed out by card draw here, I think. Oh, what a card draw. Up to target, then zip to another location. There we go. I solved it eventually. Did I just need to back up and boomerang him and he dies? His life is unfair. Oh, I can't zip him that way. Let's, let's back up, but... Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, no, no, I can just zip through him again. Oh, that, what a cheater! I get the whole effect every time? Man, hold on a second, chat. I should be running, like, five bat dives. What a stupid card. Never mind. Okay, we're putting like five next time we get a chance. Look at this. I do what I want. Yeah, never mind. I found the exit. That was kind of lucky. Well, that was a little unlucky. I don't care about being damaged by bees. I mostly just need to make sure we end it in a turn. So every single room has become a challenge of can I kill them instantly or not? If I gain more AP, Pounce could kill. Boomerang could ricochet and hit the other guy, maybe? It, sadly, I haven't gotten a single flight card. We have five that I think ran it, so it's not unusual. So Aerial Ace will be really good. We're getting two Aerial Aces, so technically I have ten flight cards out of 80. And I burned through five cards already. So the fact that I have eight cards in my hand, we're about on average. The question is, what do I do from here? I need like an ability that moves and also damages a target. I don't think Boomerang's good enough by itself. I can move over here to get things started, maybe? I definitely need to move. I don't know if there's anything I could do about the guy that's all the way over there, though. I'm going to jettison... probably Hookshot. I'm gonna keep Shine Spark as it damages. We could discard the draw card for energy. Get rid of Cardinal Shot for now. I drew into more energy, so that's good. Let's just see if I need to use this. So if I do this, I'll do two damage, but I don't kill him, so I need to hurt him a little bit. Only this didn't go through the wall. Energy up is fine. So let, let's see if this works. If I back up a tile, where does this... That is actually broken. How? How does that chain the whole room? Chat, Traveler plays on like a whole different tier. Can I tell you, I don't think there's a single other card archetype where this is a legal target. Okay. Sure. Actually ludicrous. And it de-stealthed him. Wow. 
And he's in double shot range. Oh my gosh. Get me over here. Oh, if there, oh I wish there was one more movement skill. Do I aerial ace? No, I need to energy up. Damn. Thank you, Tiggy, for the lure. I mean, I just win this, right? Because it's just three damage, and there's nothing he can do about it. Wow. Actually OP. Shine Spark for the win, huh? Damn. Completely outplayed start to finish. GG. Yeah, I- yeah, can you imagine if Raider could do this? They'd be- they'd be in their own tier. Maybe they would be happy. What ridiculousness. I mean, I might as well as reset my grave, right? Because the card draw is insane. What's the downside? I don't even want to unlock the treasures. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really care. Oh, I could have stored here anyway. That's unfortunate. I mean, I could heal if I ever got hit. But, uh, spoilers. It's never their turn. We had Driving Slice to get AP. We had Pounce for damage, Cardinal Strike. Oh, did my Curio get unequipped? When did I unequip my Curio? Did I press a button and not realize I pressed it? I thought we put it back to the draw one. That's unfortunate. I mean, I don't think I need it because the Traveler's broken. I was just thinking about that until just a moment ago. I think the problem is I hit cancel, but like it wanted a different cancel button, so it got rid of the relic rather than undoing my decision. I don't need the coal shrine. It's cute that you asked me though. So we're playing it not even its full potential as a reminder. Actually busted. I could go up in driving slice. Is there anything I could jettison for more? It would be worth jettisoning. I think there's no way for me to kill. I mean, I could pounce kill the two snakes, but I don't think I could kill the rest of the team. Let's just do this while I have this. I think Chad can agree, being able to take out that many in a row is kind of worth it. And then I go back here. So for one card, I killed half of the room. Then I can Driving Slice. Just this free AP. Then I can kill him with the gunshot to draw a card. It's not the worst idea ever, honestly. But I need to back up for it. Hit the target, inflicting one in game play. Yeah, I wish I wish we had a flight card, because the flight card would actually let us win here. Like, like unironically, Chad, if we draw it, it's over. So if I back up and then I shoot him. I can win with Aerial Ace if we draw another one. We get one chance to draw a card, chat. Let's see if we draw it. Oh! You can precision on boxes? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I remember that. That's... That's really, really unfair. So I have two chances to draw into either Energy, another draw card, or flight. And flight also gives me energy anyway. Wow, what a ridiculous character. Draw number one. I got a draw card. So we can sack the draw card. And then I can draw. I can get rid of Shuriken. So if we draw into flight, it's over. Um. I don't think this is good enough. Oh, we might have to play the game. That's so unfortunate. Is there a world in which I can kill off of my remaining AP? Shine Spark works with on hit. Alright, so let me think about this. It has how many health bars? Seven. So I could do... Oh wait, can Boomerang... Wait, does Boomerang work off of burns or just only enemies? Actually, does enemy. That's unfortunate. 
I guess I could have chosen not to kill the other snake thing to get another boomerang bounce. So I think that was a misplay, I, but I also thought I would just draw into flight, to be honest. So if I had left the other snake alive, I could have zipped, done four, three, two, and then killed with dash. But also we didn't have boomerang when I made that plan, because we drew into that. That's fair, actually. I, I think that's fair. I had more chances of getting flight than boomerang. Oh, I think I could just barely not kill. Because this doesn't do any damage. So I could do six damage. Yeah. Oh. Wait, does... Wait, does Aerial Ace not cost me any AP? Wait. Wait, what? It doesn't? Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, then it's over. Oh, it does. Thanks, UI. Alright, chat, that, that's definitely a thanks, UI moment. Can we thank the UI for that? Yeah. It did- You all saw it. It did not have red- letters in the bottom left. That's why I was like, wait a minute, it didn't have the card indicator for that. So they still have broken cards. Shake your head, Kirk. I'm gonna be 1 AP short because of that. That actually cost me the kill. That is so sad. That is actually so sad. Yeah, I don't think this will kill. So sadly, I lost literally 1 AP because I wasn't sure if that would work or not. I mean, you're dead. I'm not wasting cards on you. Idiot. Ooh. Unfortunate. Oh, oh, I see how it is. Draw me the flight card now when I don't need it anymore. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of tempting. Can I poly hit off of this? I think I can. Oh, no, no, no. There's nothing in the diagonals the other direction. That's so sad. I mean, I think I just axe spin him. I think that's the right call. Unless I need the four damage for something else. I mean, I guess I could just immediately quiet flutter, which doesn't cost AP. And notice how it gets, like, really confused. Like, see it, like, briefly flashes green here? Actually, I don't even know if it shows up on stream. So the bottom left very for like a frame, maybe two frames, goes green. Just for chat clarity. So I actually gain AP. So that, that's another one that's kind of broken, by the way. So add that to the UI things. Okay, chat can see it. It flickers, so I'm not always sure if Twitch can catch it. Oh, this is going to be really hard to kill them without more card draw. I mean, this guy has to go. Oh, I lost my stealth doing that. That's fair. I didn't think about that until just then. I would have, I would have like jumped if I thought that got rid of stealth. But I guess it makes sense that it did. So I can put myself here. Hmm. I drew kind of bad cards, to be honest. None of these have synergy with each other. I wonder if it's worth just passing my turn. And I should probably at least melee, but these cards are not good. Uh, let's do a little bit of melee. How, how come none of them jumped at me? What? Wait, no. Wait, honest question, why didn't they jump at me? What? Is it because I stealthed earlier in the turn? They are always supposed to go after you. I'm confused. I've never seen them not do anything before. Hmm. 
I think I'm getting janked a little bit, chat. I'm not gonna lie. So let's burn our flight to end up here. Shouldn't cost me anything. Oh, it did cost me something. Oh, that sucks, then. Alright, that's fine. That gave me a UI indicator that I was gonna get another card, which is unfortunate. Oh, he's wounded. I just gotta draw into something good here. Okay, so it is closer. Cardinal shot is closer by one. That's not too bad. I need to gain AP somehow, or I could walk forward twice and then kill with Cardinal shot. That's the play. That's a Cardinal shot bailing me out on this one. Next Cardinal shot. I'm gonna try to avoid combat rooms. Oh. Or this is a combat room. Cool. Cool, love it. Definitely don't hate it. What a ridiculous... Boomerang is so damn good, chat. Damn, I love Boomerang. Right, chat? How many cards are you drawing? Yes. I just need to do one damage. I just kill him with hook. I can, right? I mean, when else am I gonna use hook in combat other than something like that? I guess I should open the chest? I guess. Oh, 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 lantern? Oh. Um... I got a rare card, apparently. I mean, I don't think I'm at risk of dying, to be honest with you. I could come back later. Or the boss, if I really want to. Hmm, it's kind of a weird hand. I could pierce through, do big damage there. I could draw extra cards. Do double flight. Question is, what do I want to strike with this? So if I get to like two tiles below the B, I can get a triple kill? Is that worth doing? So I could hook shot, move, but then I'm out of actions unless I burn another quiet flutter. Uh, just thinking about this. What enemy is the problem enemy, is what I'm thinking about. Holy hit gives me stealth for a while. And I think that's just the right play. It kills two cards, kill three. Like a quiet flutter for more damage on the first one, maybe. For example, fly over here, melee, quiet flutter again, melee. Maybe that's the right call. I don't see how else I could really kill with my setup. I could save a flight if I need to. I'm definitely gonna do this to get closer to melee. Or do I just wanna burn it, I guess is the question. I mean, it is free damage. I should probably take the free damage. Because it'll one-shot this. That thing now exists. I can fly here and then delete the room. I don't know if the snake can reach me. I don't feel like checking. I just want to go for the delete here. This will give me stealth regardless. That was the right play. It just self destructed because it had no targets. It's kind of hilarious, actually. So if I if I land double shot, I could get a kill here. 
I don't have a way to just go like a small distance. Oh no, I do. Never mind. The liar. Man, Aerial East is so good. I did put teleport cards in my deck in my defense. Man, why is it so good, chat? Double shot is just what a beautiful card. What a thing of beauty. Uh, let's get rid of a hook. Maybe draw into something stronger. Let's also get rid of Ninja Backpack. Throw all those other cards out of our deck. Yeah, let's get rid of Shuriken. Alright, so I can't draw those cards anymore, which is good. So many busted traveler cards, something like that. So sadly, I think without Mercurio, the boss might be a little hard to kill. Maybe. Or I'll just get like a god draw like this one. Can I land in a way that lets me multi-hit anything? <laughs> They're like slightly misaligned. So if I could get to where the mummy is, I could kill the other one with shock jump. So, we have to kill these two that are in front of me, which I think I just did. I don't have any energy cards, is the problem. If I lose energy, I might be able to pounce kill. That dive is really good. I could bat dive to kill the other target. Find Spark is okay to use here, I think. So we have like a pretty good amount of mobility options. I just wish I had more card draw. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't poly hit. That's what I was worried about. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna shock jump, shock jump, and they all just die. Yeah, if I can jump here, they both die. Although I think I take damage, but I don't think that really matters. So I, I'd rather just go for the kill here. I'll take a little bit. I mean, that would have been scary if you got a turn. Two big wounds. Oh, so we found the exit again. I think we're doing pretty good for finding the exit chat. The, on it, <laughs> this hand is kind of ridiculous. Okay. So if I pounce... Well, if I get... Ooh. Hmm. Is it worth Adrenaline to kill the mage to damage the worm? Ooh, that's a tough call. Oh, I have to make a decision. Wait, I hate making decisions. So, here's the deal. Two, four. Oh, will that leave it at four? Actually, this is even better, I think. No, 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 I still need to finish her. Damn, I need to finish her card. So I definitely want to pounce first. Unless I just want to one-shot this the trickster. It's not like the worst idea ever. The problem is the snakes are too far apart. I could reasonably bully the worm if I draw into boomerang. I don't think I could reasonably bully the mage. Maybe I could do something like this. Let's kill him now. He'll be the most annoying of the targets to hit, and then I just hit the worm for a lot of damage. I still have a lot of card draw here, so I could try to zip. It means I could do two damage. That could set me up for a good kill. But the problem is, like, I think I just need another card. Let's draw five. Any of these being energy up would be huge. I didn't get it. We do a bullseye though, that's a good finisher card. Um, Sharp Dash does two damage. King Dash we could maybe abuse. Fire Shot. Hook Shot will also do two damage. I don't think any of these solve the problem that we're having. 
So even if I go through there with Shine Spark, it doesn't matter. I needed to draw, like, an energy card, so sadly, I did burn a lot of our cards out with Ninja Backpack. I guess if I chose to just draw all the cards, I could have gotten AP earlier. We have, like, literally one of these. I mean, I might as well burn it just to get out of our deck. Now this should grant AP, right? Okay, so I can get another energy. So Shuriken can give me another AP. So the question is, how do we kill the target? Who do I line up with for the kill is the question. The Shuriken is just free damage. So I could, like, zip... Shine Spark, and that'll kill two out of the three. The problem is, it doesn't leave me in a good position. If I can line up, if I can line up at the bottom wall, I could kill the bottom snake. I think the top snake is too hard to hit because I don't think there's a way I could end my turn reasonably and go there. Unless Hookshot stops me at an object, which it could. Maybe this will work. So we're going to go for Bat Dive. With the assumption that when I Hookshot, I'm going to stop here. Then I can Bullseye kill that one. I think that'll work. So this will do two damage. <laughs> Then I recast. Even if I wasn't lined up. Oh, interestingly, I could go here. How far does the dash go, out of curiosity? Not very far, okay. I was curious if I could somehow, like, end up in the corner. And I'm still gonna go for the original strategy. I do two damage. Hook shot. Bullseye. Gain an AP. It should leave me enough. I'm gonna draw the AP here. And I melee. And I hook shot. Ooh, that does let me use it again, but I actually don't want to. It's okay to do this. I guess if I cancel the recast, this is fine. And I just want to bullseye you. Bullseye is so good. Thank you, bullseye. Do we actually manage to get the, through that dungeon pretty quickly? It's more just how fast can we kill the boss with no curio. Which I guess just speaks to the power of Traveler that, like, I got hit once that entire time. Actually, I should check out the staircase before going forward in case there's card packs there. Do we still have like 30 something turns, I think, to complete it, if I'm not mistaken? I feel like we barely did any turns. Yeah, we did 13 turns. We're already on one of the final floors. Traveler is so busted. Real talk chat. We're gonna heal. We're gonna get all of our cards back. I guess I'll send this up back. I don't think I'll die, but... Might as well as. Traveler is something. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking Bat Dive. I'm actually gonna put five in the deck. I'll get rid of some of the other dashes. Because Bat Dive is like those dashes without a condition. And it's better mobility, and and it could potentially lead to more damage with precision. I can end up getting uh, four damage on a target if I kill one and hit another target and come back. That's four damage. That's a lot of damage. Most enemies only have four or less. The fact that I could potentially just double hit is kind of funny to me. So we have one final floor before the boss. 
Even if I do 17 rooms, I have 30 turns to kill the boss. Damn, you're busted. Do I get rid of Shuriken? Or keep it for the AP? I think I keep it for the AP. I don't need to go to the Shoal Card. It's fine, I don't need the go. Ooh. That's an unfortunate target position. Hmm. Ew. This is like the only bad position here. What is this? The worm's on the other side, I can't reach it with anything. And we have a thing that requires multi-hit, but there's only one target? That's lame. I could just dash with sharp dash. Hmm. I would- I don't think this is close enough to bounce, though. If I wait a turn. We're gonna flow in a random direction. You're gonna get close to me, which I think I do want. This is such a weird position to be in. I guess I can dash, lose a turn. I just don't I just don't wanna lose a turn, but there's like nothing. I don't think I have anything really worth doing. I could shuriken him, I guess. Just to get rid of it. Then I'm gonna choose not to teleport. I should just have another target to bounce it off of. Shield bash through here. Does this do anything for me? I don't think so. And I could kill you. Or do I just get greedy and draw cards? I think I just go greedy. Yeah, let's see if we draw any energy cards, because that would solve our problem here. I did. I drew a lot of energy cards. <laughs> Alright, chat. That, that was a... Ridiculous number of energy cards that we just drew. Okay. Maybe I could do something with this then? Oh, the fact that Hookshot works like that is so dumb, by the way. We can get close. Then I can Hookshot away. I think I do want to do. Oh, I could have Shuriken. That would have been a better choice, actually. Um, I think I'm just having fun zipping around. Hmm. I don't have to kill the other guy on the next turn, but it's a zip of war. Sadly, the targets are just too far away. I guess I just walk up and melee him to death. Get another shuriken out of the deck. That bullseye, though. Yeah, if, if, if that went through the wall, that would have been actually huge. But nah. I don't think there's anything I can do to save this. I could get rid of cards, though. So if I wanted to fly, I could. But I can't really do anything with it. Yeah, see, if, th if this went through the wall, I would literally just finish them with Double Shot Boomerang here. This was probably the most annoying room portion that I could get is something I can't just shoot through. So I think I just end my turn here and not bother with using these cards. Let's just end our turn. Sadly. So I have Flight to correct my position if I need it. I could do four, then three, and kill him. Yeah, let's use flight to correct our position here. This is just so good. Boomerang him. I 
could do... Oh, I could have Cardinal shot at him instead, instead of using double shot. I didn't think about that. Uh... I mean, I think that they'll ultimately do... I think I'm going to keep the boomerang work. Then if I do this, he's just dead. I was going to greed and get a card draw off the earth. That's why I went in the corner originally, and then I'm like, wait a minute. That's not going to work. And I got double shot back anyway. Ridiculous. I love how it's like, you, you have X turns to go clear it. And I'm like, don't worry about that. Not going to be the problem with our death. Welcome Aether Drift. Just wanted to say thanks for PSO content. Help my return to the game immensely. Glad it helped you. Ooh. Wait, do they retaliate on right now? I think they do. I could die really fast against them. That could be funny. Hmm. Wish I had an energy gainer here. Also, is this the first time I've not gotten multiple mobility skills? That's crazy. I think I just draw into energy gain, maybe? I have good odds of drawing into it. I did draw it. That's not good enough to kill. If there's any combination of spots where I could teleport and hit multiple objects. This is just kind of another really unfortunate room for us. Like, we have really, really solid game plans here. So they have six health total. Mm. It's gonna be kind of annoying to deal with. I think we should take the boost here. The question is, do I bother with the stealth? I don't think I do. I take the flight to line up. I could shine spark through the room and then ricochet. That would make sense to do. Four, three, two, one. And four, three, two, one. Yeah, that would be okay. Double boomerang throw. Oh, I do have aerial ace, so something will just die instantly. True. I could kill the guy in the middle if I need to at some point. If only they didn't have the double health bar, Pounce would have gone on a killing spree here. Hmm. I don't think I have a good idea for this. I'll keep it simple then. Let's just get rid of our boomerangs. So we'll take some damage here. There's not much I could do about it if I want first turn kills. Oh, I drew energy. So I might be able to get the precision kill here. Recast and then teleport from there if I need to. This gives me a free AP point. Be worth hitting. Find spark kills, but I don't get any benefit from it. I guess there's no super downside to Shuriken Storm. I don't think it puts me out of the range of anything that I want to do anyway. The question is, how do I kill the remaining enemies? We're going to do this for free AP. So I could jump and kill this target if I need to. I think I do. <sighs> hmm. Wish they were in range to poly pass. That would have been so good. We have bullseye to one shot the other target. I'm just thinking about what to do with our all of our many actions. So if I move forward. I think this helps me. If I go... If I can go down here, I can one-shot the other target, but then this guy's still alive. If I shoot... I 
I wish I had one more AP. That's so sad. I don't have another AP gainer. So if, if I could have moved south, I could have potentially precision killed one of the other targets. I do have aerial ace to reposition if I need to, but I don't think that helps me. I think I would rather... I don't think that'll help me. Draw another card with this. Yes. It's potential I could get another energy boost, which would help me. Oh! <laughs> there we go. There we go, chat. Just look into the energy boost. It's fine. Play, play for your outs. Oh, how do we do? How do we deal with this though? So if I can get it, if I shoot him full screen, he dies. I can bomb jump here, and then I just gotta kill the target in front of me, or I could do. No, that's not. Dang. How do I kill the furthest target? Is the question. The pounce can let me. So if I. It's not gonna be far enough. Hmm. So I can aerial ace if I somehow. If I got two spaces further, I could kill that guy with this, but then I still need another action. Something else I could do. Because I feel like I'm gonna be misaligned with them, is the problem. I could go here. Oh, actually, I'm overthinking it, because if I go here, I could just aerial ace him, right? Yeah, that should be in range. Yeah, we're overthinking this, I think. He doesn't line me up. Oh, that's so rude. He doesn't die. Uh, I need to get out of... Oh, I can't reach him from there. I miscounted. I'm gonna go over there to be safe. That is so sad. Man, I'm not, like, screwed or anything. I just... It's just unfortunate. I miscounted the tiles. I don't think there's a multi here that's useful. If I go here, I can one-shot him, but then the other guy probably kills me. Interesting. How do I get out of this? Yeah, I thought I was- I thought- I miscounted the tiles. I thought I could shock jump in the middle there, because then I could kill the other guy after I did that. And then I would have been able to, uh, move up one space and then shoot, and that should have been it. Potentially. No, that's not gonna work. So I could definitely kill this guy. I'm just thinking about the best way to do it. Yeah, sadly I can't go here, or else I could have bomb jumped him. I was also kind of hoping when we did the aerial ace, I could have chosen where I landed, because I would have preferred to have landed either on the left of the target or the right of the target, because then I would have been able to shine spark. And that would have gotten me the kill on both of them, also. So unfortunate. Can I shine spark over there? That's not enough tiles now, right? Yeah, that's not enough tiles. I could shine spark into a pounce, technically. But I don't think that'll help me. Let's do this for now. Oh, I can't hit this target again. Actually, I just realized. That's unfortunate. I can't believe I actually need healing. It's so sad. So he can't reach me. He definitely can't reach me. I'd like to kill the other target. He's just out of range. The problem, like, it's, it's not showing whether or not I get hit by this. I don't know. I don't know if retaliate works at a distance. Did I get hit the previous time I did something like this? I got hit with the boomerang. I'm assuming that hurts me. 
so here's where I'm talking about UI indicators. I really need the game to let me know if this damages me or not. Do you know what I mean, chat? Because that makes a difference. Because, like, I'd rather do this and then, like, get out of range than leave that guy alive. But I think I gotta wait. So you're gonna move forward. So I'm gonna move a tile over. We'll let another combat turn pass. And he reapplied Retaliate. That's actually a problem. I can't kill this target without healing. I don't have any healing. Huh. I think this is GG. I don't know what to do. This is actually quite annoying. He's gonna waste a lot of turns. I think I just gotta let him go, right? Can't do anything. He's prepping a move. I don't want to waste, like, a good skill on this. I guess I could hookshot him. What a jerk. Making me wait. Now I'm actually pretty injured, which is a little scary. Yeah, that retaliate really messed me up. We got another room of retaliate. No! No! Not good. Let's see hit. So now I can't boomerang or I die. I might be able to chain kill off of this. You definitely should pounce no matter what. Okay, getting rid of two targets. And then potentially really wounding another is pretty huge. I think this was the right call. Okay, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna retaliate up? He's gonna move. Good blink strike if I want to. It'd be better just to end my turn after I do one more damage. What are you doing this turn? You're gonna spawn me so I have to melee. Not a good position. I try to tri chip him out a little. I'm gonna get rid of cards. We'll go for a jump move. Oh no, that'll hit him. Um. This will still damage him, though. I think it's fine. So I'm gonna do bomb jump to reposition. You can't reach that other space, right? No, no. He doesn't seem to have an aggression action. That's fine. Let's wound him with this. Also, I'm seeing his health bar sometimes doesn't appear when I do this. Let's... I can't cardinal shot him, it's actually kind of annoying. This card is dead in my hand again. Uh... I mean, you're not gonna melee, right? Because it's not in your... It, okay, if he melees me and it doesn't say he has an attack here, I'm gonna be very upset. I just want you to know. Because this guy's definitely not going to attack me this turn. The problem is he's gonna spawn fish bait. Depending on where he spawns, it could be a big problem for me. I wish I could have jumped here, because then I would have been in a good position to melee fish bait and then kill the other target. The problem is retaliate will kill me. I think I'm gonna just hold my cards. Draw something decent. I think that's also fine. I think he just kinda trolled his partner there, to be honest. I don't think that was a downside for me. So he's gonna melee me, and then I potentially die afterwards. I don't have a good ability to kill the center target. Wish I could just poly hit something. Poly hit would have saved me here pretty big. I need to do potentially 5 damage. He 
get close, but then I can't do anything. He can bomb jump away. I don't think he could walk through his own target. Maybe he can. Doesn't seem to be blocked. So I mostly just need to dodge him for a little bit. How far do you walk? I need to go over two spaces, so I could shock jump over here and then move. Maybe this will be out of range. here. Didn't quite get it, but we did get pounce, which might be okay. Because I could bomb jump away. He's just trying to melee me, which is fine. Take advantage of this. So I could get a free kill with bomb jump here, and then bomb jump again if I want to, which I think I do. This is the right play. You go full screen on him. I think that was the right play. We just shoot him. Draw another card. Okay. Got an energy up, not bad. We should stealth here, but it shouldn't matter. Shot here should kill. Game over. Alright, uh, so we're we're playing real real scared here. How many turns did that end up eating from before? So I've got more than half my turns left, so that's not too bad. We really gotta stop getting into these retaliate encounters. This is so bad for us. I can't do my main gimmick while they're here. It's so sad. Uh, let's discard. Well, at least I have Grit, so I guess there's that. Let's do this. It's a plus side. Oh, I got the Golden Phoenix, finally. But the sad part is, like, I can't Boomerang because of the Retaliate guy. Like, this room would literally be dead if I was allowed to Boomerang. Maybe I should put a Healer card in here? It feels so terrible, but if I get Retaliated in the final dungeon, I don't think there's a counterplay for me. I could just lose. Um, I guess I get rid of Boomerang, actually, because I can't use it. So I drew... ridiculous number of cards. I'm at 7 AP. Okay, let's draw 5 here. And get rid of whatever doesn't work for us. Holy! <laughs> Chat, how many turns are you taking? Yes. Right, chat? We're, we're taking them all, chat. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Do I dare discard these for free AP in flight? Holy, our turn just became insane. I wish I could one-shot that guy, but I can't. I don't have healing. Um... Golden Phoenix... Oh, Golden Phoenix has a limit. Oh... I don't think I like Golden Phoenix then. We're gonna get rid of that and get to the other one, because it's just. It feels like strictly worse Aerial Ace. Like, I can't think of an opportunity where, like, I wouldn't be able to at least go in a full straight line all the way through. Yeah, Golden Phoenix kind of lame. Well, I do like a million damage. I actually have so much AP that I don't even kill with Pounce. That is hilarious. Um... Do I need stealth? Do I play Ninja Backpack? I think I play Ninja Backpack. This should be enough. How is this still... I'm confused. Does this not do seven? Good multi hit, but then I'll die. I do have more than one pounce. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess I could just go around one-shotting everything. It's funny. 
If I was enraged at the other one, we would get a kill. I could just choose to gain flight here. That way I could just choose to teleport and one-shot the other target if I need to. Um... So this does just 10 damage straight up. Oh no, no, that's not your real use. Um, hmm. What to do with all these cards? I probably want Shadow Walk to end my turn so that I don't get targeted. Although, maybe then he'll... Maybe that's why he stealths. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. When you stealth, he does that. Hmm. No, I don't think he's gonna change his behavior then. Um... We have all these abilities, and I don't think any of these are actually all that useful, to be honest with you. I mostly just need to reposition. Golden Phoenix is kind of a dead card, to be honest with you. I want to save Bulldive for later. I could reposition here just to do damage, which isn't the worst idea. And then I just kill you with Pounce, right? There's only one target, let's not do that or I'll die. Man, I wish Cardinal Shot would guarantee I don't die to that nonsense. Cause I'm pretty sure you take damage even if he dies, it doesn't matter like what you do there. Um... Hmm. I mean I have enough AP to kind of mess around, I'm just thinking about this. So if I move- oh. You have four. Help left. Do Cardinal Shot on you. So most of the big threats have been removed from the room. It's now just kind of determining how these things should die. So I do get precision from that, so I guess I'll do it. That thing is ultra dead. I don't want to pop that or I'll die. Do I have any projectiles? How am I playing the Traveler and having no projectiles? That's also kind of crazy. Do I just stealth up because he's going to taunt me and waste my turn? I think I do. I don't think this changes my game plan at all. Just walk away a space, I guess. So it's unfortunate that that Retaliate is there. We gotta wait another turn. So every time he spams that, I can't do anything, which is very unfortunate. I wish I had something other than Hook to grab here. I mean, I guess I can force the draw of it here. So maybe I'll go down one hook shot. I don't mind drawing shuriken. Two, sh two shurikens, one hook shot might be optimal. So that way the first time I draw into them, and then the first time I use shuriken, I draw the other one. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. We have shock jump if I need to kill the other thing, but I really need this guy to stop spamming come at me. Actually, very in a way. Right, so now he's gonna move, so I don't need to worry about anything. I have Aerial Ace to delete him. So I guess I just end my turn again. I don't think there's anything I really want to do. I don't want to accidentally like take damage with the zip or something stupid, so I'm just gonna choose to end my turn here, honestly. Sadly, we did lose a lot of turns here, only purely due to retaliate. Fine. I potentially could get a nice AoE kill here if I need to. But we shock jump. Well, I gotta move forward for that to work. If I air Oh, I'm out of range of him twice. That's unfortunate. Um So if I reach the other target, I can kill with axe spin. I wanna do that. Good zip. 
ask him if I need to. Yeah, Bat Die being able to jump in full directions is so good. It's all the mobility I need. It's basically just better dash. Like that, Shark Dash is useful for like a couple of scenarios where you're fighting a lot of 1 HP monsters specifically. The Bat Dive is just better like, overall. Um. So if I get close enough. Question, the axe spin. Oh, we need to go down one, forward two. I think that's fine. Down one, forward two. And he gets hit by all the nonsense. That should hit the other thing. Then I can hit the other target. I wish I was one space further forward, chat. Um... I guess I could burn an energy if I mess up position. Let's not overthink this. Let's bat dive. Down one, forward two. I could just get in position in general if I want to do three damage. So I can kill him instantly with Aerial Ace. I just have to do enough damage to finish him from there, and I can discard my remaining cards. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's let's not overthink it. So we're gonna go. I guess something like this for now. We'll discard the cards that I'm not planning to use in the combo. If I need to. I want to make sure the the other guy dies. Is what I'm thinking about. We get to lead him with aerial ace, which will be out of position. So let's get rid of these two. Now, no matter what, I should be able to kill him here. We'll shock jump and then kill him with aerial ace. I'm not- oh, too close. That's what I get for not counting. I didn't deserve that. Alright, let's restore our health. If the game denies my health heal, I'm gonna be so sad. You have no idea. Oh! That is so sad. I've gone through a lot of my cards. This is actually really bad. Yeah, where's the exit? Ooh. Getting double denied there is so bad for us, actually. Is this GG? I don't have enough cards to complete to the next area. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe I need to somehow increase my deck limit. Traveler is too powerful. So I don't know if I can reach the next area with only 24 cards and no health. I don't think this is going to work. I wish I could see further to the right to see which path has less enemies. I don't even see the exit. That's kind of scary. Hmm. Yeah, chat, sadly, this is going to be GG. I don't think I could recover from this. I mean, this is a good start. But I'm gonna run out of cards very soon. So I think I had too much card draw. So if we get if we remove a couple of card draw cards but keep the curio in, maybe that would work. Hmm. I can zip to you and do a damage if I need to. Just out of a good range of damage. I want to save double shot for the green snake in the back. 
question is, do I... What do I do about the rest of them? Maybe I just end my turn? I don't think there's any useful projectiles I want to do. Because even if they stealth, they have to get closer, right? Yeah, let, let's let them come to us. Reset, get more AP. Because I don't need to target them with anything manually. I can recast and get the kill off of that, which is nice. That's fine. I think that's good. That was a good call. I really need to be able to re reset our cards. I'm gonna play so scared. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? It's not even visible. How is that possible? Where is it? Oh, that's super not good for us. Uh, we can't afford any bees or we die. Um, I have flight. So I could reposition and one shot simultaneously. But then I'm not in a good position to hit the other target. I hate that that puts me right. No. So awkward. It's like I need to be here to shoot the projectile and hit the speed, but I can't do that. Alright, let's reposition for now. Just wish I had another ability so I could I could get out of here in case I need to. Also, oops. DUI graphic broke there, right chat? Oops. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, because of the reflect. Oh, maybe it will- Oh! Actually, maybe that is working as intended. So I could end up over there if I need to. Problem is, I just don't have, like, the right abilities. Maybe that's actually the right play? Aerial ace into back up the stat gunshot. Will that work? But then I don't have a move to kill the other target. I don't have another move to kill the target. I think this will work. I could get extra AP here. This I'm not scared about. It's here. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, it's not going to get deflected, so that's good. So we've now created a potentially safe area for us. But I still have to draw something to deal with the other B. Or... Okay, so if we can hit the other target, we're good. Oh, I don't want to get rid of our cards. Uh, if he hits me, we die. Can I move somewhere here and not get killed by the B instantly, is the question. I don't think there is. Unless here works. Then Boomerang would save me, kind of. Okay, so if I go down there, he can't hit me. They, they move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Ooh. But that means he could reach me here. Oh, that is so unlucky. I was thinking if I, like, did Ninja Backpack to get extra AP, I could flight Boomerang, but that puts me in a worse position. I think this is game over. I don't think I could recover from this. I would have to waste a Boomerang here, but then I have literally nothing to deal with the right-hand side of the room. Which is a very bad position to be in. So, like, ideally I would throw this, right? But I can't do that. I think I'll hold Ninja Backpack for now. This feels so bad. I think I gotta burn something to live here, though. As much as I don't want to do this... I don't know if I have another option. Hmm. 
That shrine being locked completely messed us up, by the way, Chad. If that shrine had also been unlocked, or if we'd been allowed to heal, we would have been fine. But the fact that it did both means I can't just choose to take 3 damage here. Where normally I would just take the 3 damage, but we can't afford to do so. Oof, we got punished so hard on that retaliate room. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I could do. I gotta waste the boomerang and hope we somehow get another projectile. Which I don't think it's very likely to happen. I could jettison for one, but that won't help us. I mean, I guess I gotta play my outs. He moved further away. Do you have Axe Swing, which is one of our only projectiles, but then you're gonna spawn a bee, and there's nothing I can do about that. I think this is GG. Yeah, we just ran out of cards in HP. That's so sad. That is so sad, chat. I just needed, like, one more card, and we would have been fine. Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, if I get close, that'll work. Alright, wait, we have, a, we have a small chance here. And I get in range. What is the range of the bounce? Tiles. Oh, we have to let him move. Problem is if he moves up. So there's... <laughs> if he moves up at all, it's over. If he goes back, forward, or down, we are fine. I have to go for it. I don't know if we have another projectile. I mean, maybe we do... This is out of range. So even if even if I gunshot here, I don't think this will work. Yeah, because it's only three. So let's say I shot it from here, it'd be one, two, three. It would just be out of range no matter what. The there's it spawned it in like the only spot we can't ricochet on. If it had spawned in any other tile, we would have been fine, sadly. But this is a no-go. Yeah. It, it needs to be cardinal, I think, relative to the other target. I don't know what to do here. I guess we hold on for now. Where are you gonna move, actually? I mean, I just gotta... I still gotta walk forward, I think. We gotta hope for... Okay, he went in a good position. Hold on. That's a good position for us. I need to move forward one. Probably do that. Oh yeah, that was a good position. And we don't die to the explosion. We get one more card draw. But we are hilariously low on cards. Get another AP. What are you doing this turn? You're gonna spawn another boss. So, I need to be able to one-shot the final enemy. Do we have Cardinal Shot to do that? Is it worth moving forward? We have Shirk and Storm to kill the bee. <sighs> so close. Do I risk the teleport? Uh, I don't think I do. I'm gonna move closer. No, draw cards. I don't want those. We have 14 cards left in the deck. So this draw card is basically dead. I could jettison it. it. Wouldn't be the worst thing ever to draw more cards. But I'd prefer not to do that. So we need to be able to shirk and storm, but I need to do more damage. I guess I could jettison this because I don't see where else I would do this. extra AP anyway. Do a Varial Ace. I think we're saved. Do what? Yeah, I think I gotta burn it here. I don't think I have a choice. Oh! 
Aerial Ace can instantly kill the thing inside of it? I didn't know that. Did you know that, chat? If you overkill the coffin, it doesn't spawn the creature inside. Oh. Well, I wish I knew that before. <laughs> right, chat? I, things I wish I knew about. Interesting. Oh my god. You know what the worst part is, chat? I still don't even see the exit. It's gotta be above us, right? It can't be to the right, because that's a treasure room. So I have to potentially go through two more two more combats with like 14 cards. This is gonna be so rough. Please only be two more. Okay. No! Retaliate! No! Come on! The only thing I can't kill! Come on! Dungeon Drafters, please! Stop it! Chat, we were doing so well! Oh, is it over? I can't deal with this enemy. I'm gonna have to headhunt him. Okay, we have damage moves. It's just really annoying that we have to do this. I think I'm gonna ninja backpack for AP. I think it's worth it for the pounce kill. The question is, does this put us in range of the other target if I do this? I feel like the answer is no. Yeah, I think we won't be in target. So if I go over here, I could pounce kill that target. Oh, this feels so bad. I could do like three damage to you, but then these guys are alive. Maybe it's better just to kill the magician. I, I just don't see a world in which I could kill this magician in a good manner. Oh, actually, I can't do anything because it's too close. Which might be fine for us, actually. So if I melee him back up, that does 5 damage. I think this is fine, actually. This is the Cardinal Shot buff. Alright, so we got rid of one of the problems. If we back up exactly 4 tiles, we should be fine. Other snake might be a problem for us. We need a projectile to deal with it. Can't sit through that. We could do this. You're gonna attack over here if you're given a chance. Why? I wish. I guess if I zip forward. I could do two damage to them. Then what does that do for the rest of my turn? Gives me one AP to play with? It's kind of scary. The problem is the snake. The snake is messing stuff up. If the snake wasn't there, I, I would have done something different. I'm just thinking about four tiles exactly. One, two, three, four. So if we could somehow kill the worm, we could have one-shot the other guy. Is there a way I could use this? It would take three to reach the other place, so I can't do that. Unless I just headshot it now. But then the worm might pull me in. Oh, no, no, no. I think he has to melee. So I think he did already pull... How does... I don't remember how the worm works. I think it jumps and then it slams, right? So I think as long as I'm not there, it doesn't do anything. If it pulls me downwards, I, I'll just say GG. So that'll give me one, then I can move forward another, and then it should be one, two, three, four to kill the snake. I think this is fine. If the worm moves me one, that's also fine. I would have preferred to not have used that, but I think I need to kill that before we go further. Yeah. So they're actually killing each other pretty well. That's to our advantage. Glad I left them alone. I have flight. I think I'm gonna save that. I'm able to. Might not be able to. He's gonna attack again. He's gonna come towards me. I could fly. If he pulls me in at all, he dies, so I don't need to worry about that. I wanna actually jettison the jettison at some point. If I do flight, I think I could kill the guy with uh, the bullet, which is what I want to do. I don't want him to get retaliate, this is what I'm getting at. 
If I come over here and melee, that's not good enough. That'll do two damage currently, which is also not good enough. I could go back in the corner and make him take three damage. Maybe that's good enough. Yeah, that should be good enough. Living on the edge chat. <laughs> Just trying to get to this exit. Why did it only do two? Does it not count the tile he's on? Are you serious? Oh, I feel, I feel a little cheated about that one, chat. I don't know about you. It doesn't count. So if the target is three tiles away, it only counts two tiles? Why? Oh, that's... Mm. It's just... Nomenclature chat, nomenclature. That's very unfortunate. So... How do I correct this? I definitely don't want him getting a turn. Yeah, that actually really screws us. Because then it would have been better to just melee him. Walk forward melee. I wanted to stay at a distance to avoid triggering the other guy's UI, or AI ability. But I mean, he shouldn't do anything afterwards, right? I think I need to shoot him. No, I need to shield bash. Do this. I didn't want to do this, but I think I have to. Annoying. Are we out of cards? Oh, we are. Oh boy. Yeah, I think it's GG. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Chat, round of applause. Actually unwinnable. Actually unwinnable. I'm just, I'm taking my death. Actually, wait a minute. If they're really stupid, maybe I can actually take advantage of this. Hold on. Maybe this will actually work. Hey, hold on. Did I wait? Did I just do like the best bait of all time? I mean, I think I'm screwed if the top one does anything, but I think the rest of this is okay. Go this way then. Hold on. Are they all just gonna hit each other? I mean, I'm kind of okay with this. Oh, you're not gonna chuck it regardless. I was curious if he's gonna chuck it regardless. I mean, maybe this is winnable? Oh, this, this feels terrible though. Raw indeed. So I have, I have the bullseye to kill the range guy. Jettison does literally nothing. So if I could get them to line up with each other like this, I think we're fine. I could walk up, melee him once, and then retreat. Should work? Oh, he's so much health. He is so much help. Okay, footwork. Footwork. Wait a minute. Oh, how do I come back from this? This is a horrible spot to be in. Um, all the spikes are up. So I did manage to get them to kill one of them, which makes this more doable. The problem is the chakram guy. Oh, they're walking into spikes for no reason. I'll take that. Why are the spikes not going down? Will you reach me from there? I'm gonna have to hope that you don't. So, if I do this, is this out of range? It is. I could technically shoot him from here if I want to, but I don't want to do that. Please let the spikes go away this turn. I think he'll body block for me. I need the spikes to go down. No pressure. Just gotta, just gotta win one health, two cards. 
Oh my gosh, this is way too close. That ended up being the best bait, though. They actually killed one of the targets. So it's not, like, completely awful. So if I can get distance, I can kill the shop room guy. So the question is, can I do... Can I get close enough to do something about this other guy? I'm gonna have to get through the spikes here eventually. They're about to come up, which I can't do anything about. So I could go up. What is the best direction to go here? Do I go up melee right? And then... No! I went the only direction I didn't want to go because I thought I was looking at the cards. Oh, that's such a heartbreaker. I think I'm dead. Oh, come on. I hate that so much. I was trying to see his movement and then the thing canceled on me. I, it's over. I don't think there's anything I could do from this. Also, I just attacked again because I thought it was in the cards. So I'm flustered. Man, that sucks so much. I can't do anything about this. Yeah, I think it's just over. I don't have a way to get past this, I don't think. Yeah, that I really hate that movement schema. It messed me up again. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. So irritating. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna do that again, but this time I'm gonna bring in healing. Which I didn't think I would need on that area, to be fair. But then it was, like, just a bazillion retaliates. That really sucked. Alright, let's get rid of the completely useless skill. Phoenix. I almost saved it, but then... Yeah, so anyway, chat. This is a lesson as to why when you play games like Final Fantasy T Tactics, you don't have movement as your default. You have to select the character for that. I wish they did that. It would feel so much better. You have no idea. What do I want for- I actually don't want card draw with my curio. What do I want with my curio? Do I just want damage cards? Let me think about this. Just combat heal 10, maybe. Start a combat game flight. That one's not bad. Charge move a tile. Nice. Uh... No, I don't want to do that one. That one. I actually don't want any of these. Weirdly. Yeah, that might be good. Start a combat game one. Mm. I don't want the Pilgrim's Lamp. I want something that potentially helps me with bosses. Did you see that? Why didn't it... Why did it do that? Something weird happened with the UI there. Like, I selected it, then I went to close it, and then it disabled it. That was very weird. Anyway, good thing I caught that. Uh, let's get rid of these. Shine Spark was fine. Shuriken is fine. Let's get rid of one hook. I think the problem was hook. And then we can fit in another... Bat Dive, which I have another of, which is good. I do like that ability. Um... So Keen Dash and Sharp Dash I could potentially use to regain AP now, which is kind of good. That brings up their value quite a bit. Like, Shock Jump potentially leading into AP gain if I need it. Like, if I'm in the right position already is interesting. We have an okay number of abilities here. I'm just thinking about what we need to get rid of. I guess we'll get rid of... I don't need five to the vaults. Let's go down to three, in case we're in the same scenario again. 
Let's go for... One additional rain down for projectiles. Maybe a barrage. Just to add more recast targets. I think bat dives is a good one to get. Hookshot was pretty good. I could just get rid of hook in general just to do that. Yeah, let's get rid of hook in general. Get another hook shot here. Because now that's basically free AP. It's basically pay one, get an AP. It's not bad. And more mobility is not a bad thing. Oh, do I not have. Oh, I don't have another one. I could get one heal card. In case we're in that horrible, horrible position again. Where is it? Here somewhere. We'll put in one Reaper Spite to stop that from happening again. We have two Axe Spins, some AoEs. So I can draw my double Kunai, or these are just plus one AP. Which I guess begs the question, do I really need Ninja Backpack now that I've recast? I don't think I do, right? I'm actually gonna go down a couple of Ninja Backpacks. Actually, we get rid of those then. I think I'd rather just have Shuriken. I guess I could leave like two in there. Because Kunai plays into Kunai plays into Kunai and I can get rid of them that way. It's just like how badly do I want another AP when we have an AP item? I don't think we do. It's good, but it's like we have the other thing for AP still. We have other things that can be AP. Uh, do I want... Yeah, card draw with Shuriken is fine. I do like it because it's also a little mini teleport, so it's not the worst. I could re-add a ninja backpack just for more AP. That way we have at least enough to draw out the kunai. Or not the kunai, the uh, Shuriken. This hook is just kind of useless. Could go down one jettison. Could go down one jettison. See how this feels. I'm gonna make sure it's not like too too clunky. I'm gonna draw a card. We have a lot of card draw. I'm just thinking about if we need anything with sharp dash. Because essentially Jettison is giving us AP and sharp dash would do something similar. We pay a card, get an AP. Maybe it's right to take another one of these? Let's see how this feels. We took one barrage. Should we have more AoE options now compared to before? Maybe this will be fine. We'll also see if there's any other cards the other person wants. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. We just got, like, a bad input and that ruined the run. And then we also got screwed on the shrine. I think we could all agree I got super screwed on that shrine. Did not get health or the other thing is crazy. What do you want from me? Oh, you want a fish? Yeah, I don't think so. Bye, bro. I don't have time for that, right, chat? Get out of here. Okay, how's our curio? End of turn, charm one enemy suffering poison. I don't even think I've used poison. Or if I have, they've died and it's not been relevant. You get to pick one. Guess we'll go here. So yeah, I think the extra AP gain here is huge. So we don't need to card draw, because we have enough card draw cards. We'll try that again. So getting to the bottom is not the problem. We now have something to deal with bosses, which I think is good for us. So we could purposely, like, hit the boss with an initiative move and gain it again. So we, we have some outs. Our draw might be slightly better for the boss, but I think also just getting there might be better. Really, a retaliate right off the bat, seriously. Wow. Right, chat, big, big wow. Okay. 
15. Do I even bother attacking? Let's wait a turn. I can just wait a turn and not take damage. Right, Chad? I think I'm I think I just don't want any of that. If I do that, I'm not in range to cardinal shot. If I do pounds. It does kill a health bar, but that's not good enough. Oh, I could shuriken. jump into the position I need to be in. Thank you, Shuriken. Again, having more teleports is huge. Then we could do shock jump. Pounce should still work from there, right? Yeah, it should. Okay. Look at that, we can cancel the recast for more AP. Which is also good for us. <laughs> Actually helps with treasures. Oh yeah, chat, how could we got none of these when we're playing? Why was it oops all retaliate? Where were the slimes, chat? Where were they? Love to know. Bomb jump useful here. This was like the best hook shot of all time. <laughs> Chat, that was legitimately the best hook shot of all time. Now what see, if we if we use regular hook, we would have done one damage. Hook shot was like you get infinite turns. And I could have canceled that. So I could have zipped to the slime, saved a saved something, and then been in a good position to punish with the card. So I like the curio, even though I didn't use it there. It, it just sends back, right? I don't care about that. We'll identify the cards later. Nothing we can get at this point, I think, matters. So sad. Fine. Uh, this room doesn't really bother me. I could do that to draw a card. Slightly better position, I can sip. <laughs> Got another shuriken. So I could come over here, go here, and cancel the recast? Is that the right play? Let me think about this. So I could kill him with Cardinal, what I'm thinking about. So it could be like. As long as I'm too south, I could do that. How do I kill the middle target? Is I do that to get an AP point. Let's see a way I can make this faster without another card. Grit two. So if I zip through. Cancel. I'll be at three. I'll be at two, then I'll be at one. Oh, actually, this works. Oh, thanks, Curio. We have multiple options. We could turn stuff into more card draw if we need it to be. Okay. That's a little less fun. Uh, 
I say that, and then the game is like, nah, you earn this. I could do two damage. But if I kill them, I could zip. So I could just zip through this target, essentially, at some point if I want to. Question is, how do I kill you? You got eight health. Ugh. Hmm. I could do this. Zip here. Position mostly. Don't get the AP, but then I can't boomerang. Um. Hmm. This is awkward. They're like in like just the wrong spot for me to combo. So we would have to bounce something off of him to do damage. So he has to teleport here, which is interesting. Um. You know, I might as well as hit him, but the question is, where do I go? It's got exactly four. I guess I can... If I could have put myself to the wall here and boomerang forward, that would have been huge for us. I don't think I could do that. I wish I could see how far the boomerang bounces before I commit to this. That's the only downside with Traveler. I can't see that far in the future. So I think it's probably still the best play to do something like this. Because I can at least one shot the other thing with double shot if I need to. So I might as well as just not use it to get extra AP. So I could have gunshot him to get two cards potentially, but I think that's fine. Mostly just want this guy eliminated. I don't care about the slime. Demon is also potentially annoying. Let's see what we draw here. That's gonna help with the demon. Um. Throw a single boomerang if I want to. Yes, I will. extra cards due to the split, which is kind of nice. But he's immune, so I just need to be out of range for a turn. Which I already am. I think I want to throw away. That's extra cards. There's no sense to holding them. Might as well burn this. So we still have a fantastic card draw. Yeah, right, chat? So, like, if I enter a room with this, it's basically over. do for maximum damage is the question. Get a free energy. Just four damage. So if I can do three damage from something else. Which I can. This is worth it. So again, Shuriken being kind of like a little mini teleport is kind of nice. Then I could do three and then kill him with Cardinal Chop. Kinda nice. I do like that I have more projectiles coming into this dungeon. It feels good. Cardinal shot being useful is always good. That was the easy floor, and I kept a lot of our cards for later. Right, we definitely need to make sure we restock our library. Yeah, our library. So now I'm entering with. Eight cards? I mean, if we can end each floor this way, this is fine. Like, we took some extra turns here, but now I have basically everything I need to super clear. And I like the number of shuriken, because they just kind of draw into each other. So just having an extra draw is kind of nice. The last one is guaranteed to be something other than shuriken. A shuriken and a shuriken is fine. I don't mind doing encounters with them. 
I think we added enough recast cards that I think our Curio can proc decently often. That's fine, we don't need it. Ooh, going room. You know, imagine I want to energy up. I probably hit off of that, which is a thing. Maybe that's worth it. I could do this one first no matter what. This one's worth it. So basically get just free damage, and there's nothing the enemy can do about this. The question is, do, what do I want to kill with this? If anything. I could get rid of the recast for the AP. Maybe that's the play. I don't think I just want to do two damage with this. Because I can't get in a good position to hit target. Yeah, let's just take the AP. Boomerang for big damage. I think that's the right play. Two cards off of that, pretty good. Draw another one with this. I can line up with that target if I need to. I do five damage to him, that's fine. Get in a melee range of that guy, would that be worth it? I could kill that guy for free if I need to. Question is. What gives us the best chance? I could back up and pounce the other target. Maybe that's worth it. Thanks, Shuriken. Being sure. <laughs> right, chat? That's just kind of a win-win. There we go. Recast bonus. So even if this couldn't reach, I would just cancel it. Thank you, Curio. Shuriken Storm to poly hit. Shuriken Storm is basically... Actually, I guess I can replace one Shuriken Storm with more Shuriken. I do like Shuriken, because it does teleport you afterwards, which is surprisingly useful. Do that, but can't do anything else with that. Needed, I needed an AP boost here, which sadly I didn't get. Guess I could draw another... card for now? I don't see a way to clear this room. They should all basically pull them thumbs towards me. I should try to do as much damage as I can to at least one of them. If I need to jump away, I got pounds. I have brief respite in case I need to pull escape. I can also just dash through the target. I guess it's just good to just melee. They shouldn't attack me, they should all just go towards me. They hurt themselves. It means I can't get initiative off of them, which is fine. But it puts them in my precision range. The target above me is dead no matter what I do, so I don't technically need to worry about him. Like, I could just pass through him twice. I could somehow wound this guy a little bit, that would be great. 
I wish Shark and Storm worked at close range. Let's go through here. And then just... Cancel? Oh, that's fine. Let's do another damage. Uh, so we'll melee once, and we'll walk away. They should just hurt each other. And the other guy dies. We did lose a couple turn turns, but we still have a lot of time. I think we only realistically need between, like, maybe 12 turns tops to kill a boss. As long as I'm not going in there at, like, 50, we should be good. <laughs> There's the ridiculous scatter shot, which I'm hoping we could use at some point to multi-hit. It would be very funny. Um, Grief Respite's kind of dead in our hand, to be honest with you. I don't want to get rid of it. That's the problem with heal cards. Like, if you don't want to use them, it feels so bad to draw them. We need to draw a jettison to get rid of that. Um, we go this way. So it hits... Is there a way I can hit with this? So if I can get to where the shuriken guy is and kill him, I can kill them with rain down. That should be fine. Right here. I just wish I had a damaging move. Kind of unfortunate. I can use this for AP and move in. There's no reason for me to not do this. Oh, actually, Quiet Flutter will give me the damage that I'm looking for, because I'll have stealth. Yeah, there we go. Oh. That's... My brain did not do that correctly. I don't know why I thought that would hit. Uh... I could choose to kill one of these targets. Dip up there. That means I actually want them to get closer. Which I think is fine. I think no matter- as long as they both go diagonal, they just die, right? Yeah. Let's just end our turn. My brain, like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. So that one's dead. Alright. We lost a turn, but, flip side, I get to finally use Rain Down to kill them, which is entertaining. Thank you, Rain Down. Alright, let's see if I get card screwed here. Alright, Chad, how bad do I get card screwed? I still have a lot of cards. We've cleared a lot of rooms, at least. Alright, so I did get card screwed. I don't really care about offering to that. Unless we pick up, like, a deck. I don't think it matters. Look at this one. Oh, fishing thing. Where? I mean, I'll... Oh, I saw it try to use my cards there. Did you see that when I went to confirm? Fishing minigame? That's spooky. They didn't use anything. It definitely popped up with the cards, by the way, just for clarity. I definitely was in another menu at the time. how fast they're moving towards it, so I don't really want to touch it. Ooh, too slow. Should trigger it. Oh, one shot. Like, it's the little sandworms there. That's a good touch. okay with a fishing minigame. A good fishing minigame, I think we could get two bonuses in a row, but I'm not liking the, the spawns of the fish. I'd get it close, but just literally not enough, even if I wanted to, I wanted to do anything. Oh well, more gems for us, I guess. I 
that way. That's fun. Guards I don't care about. I mean, I technically need them for the expeditions, but we have so many in reserve already. It shouldn't matter. room <laughs> what excuse me what is this you put reflector barriers all around my target what the heck is this room this is garbage yeah you're witnessing actual garbage bear witness of this tomfoolery of a room I think this is the worst room we've been in so far. What do you think, chat? This is something. I mean, I guess I could try to be cute with the ricochets, I guess. I don't think I want to teleport, though. If this ricochet could have hit the one on the other side of the room, that would have been useful. I think I just want to be in the same spot, honestly. One more initiative thing. Oh, I guess, well, no. Even if it's the way that would help me there. Yeah, this card is super dead, free for spite. That's why I hate bringing those cards. I prefer it anything else. Um, damn, I don't know what to do. I have nothing but projectiles in another room where I can't projectile. It's just really awkward. This all shines. I mean, how do I even hit the center target? Can I walk through reflectors? I've never tried before. This hasn't been a thing. I guess I could pounce into the middle. I need to. I hate this. <laughs> right, chat? Ew. Okay, you can step on them. Okay, I, wasn't, I literally have never tried before. So, I think I want to cut them off with the dash here. This should be fine. Oh, I actually didn't see him there, to be honest with you. I'm gonna be real with you, I didn't even see him. That was unfortunate. Well, I guess I have brief respite if I really need it. Let's draw a card. And I think I want to... dip on you. I mean, I have brief respite. Now at least I have an excuse to get rid of this card. I could teleport past. Oh, I can't, because it's going to redirect. Oh, it's so annoying. Um... I think I'm just convinced this room sucks. I could teleport over here. Does that benefit me? No. I could just kill this character. I think it's worth it. issue with this. The other guy, I just brief for spike to burn the card. Don't need the healing yet. Oh, this is such a bad room. Why is it like this? Oh, and I can't shine spark through that. For some reason? I guess because I'm too close, I can't start it in the wall. Again, this is a really awkward room. I really hate it. Thanks. Might as well just kill him with Cardinal Shot. That was a waste of turns. How many turns do I have left? 17? Okay, we're doing okay-ish. 
we could clear this and still be at like 25, we should be fine. Uh, I think we should be able to. Drew some new card. Finally, there's our double shot. I needed that earlier. So interestingly, I can hit that other thing from here if I need to. Get free AP from that, maybe. I didn't get rid of all of my jettisons, right? I just want to make sure. I thought I kept two. Because so we do have some things that are worth discarding. Um... You have retaliate, which is a problem. I want to avoid hitting you. I guess the question is... Need to make sure we kill this guy and not miss him. It's a shark and storm just for more AP. Which does cause it to spin, interestingly. shoot this guy if I just want the coins. Dash past him and kill him. Uh, let's draw a card. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We, we, need, we need to make sure this target dies. So if I do two damage to that, do I have another way to do damage? Not really. Alright, let's not do that then. Let's go through here. Let him live for now. I could go through him again if I need to. Honestly, not the worst idea ever. Yeah. Question is, what is this character doing? Okay, he's gonna go towards me as long as I don't stealth. That's what I want. Let's just go through him. So we eliminated two big problems. The slime I'm not really worried about. If the guy walks forward, he could troll himself. Question is... I could make him technically get shot by this, but I don't think it matters. It matters. Let's put ourselves in a way that we can ax him if he moves forward. Would involve going one space forward. This should be fine. Half win last, which is fine. Shoot him for big damage. I probably want to dash into him. I probably want to go through this. Cast again or save the AP. Of call. Oh, it kills. Oh, because it always has one health. I might as well do this again. Actually, this is good then. No matter what, this is free damage. I can recast again if I need to. Kind of funny. It means if I shoot him now with the three damage shot. I could just do a little more, so I could cancel this. Potentially stealth kill him here? Something like this. Oh, that's great. Bonk. I still got a little more, but uh, bad news for them. GG. There we go, we barely burned any combat turns. I guess I could go back to the other place to put away the cards. They're downside to it. Because it's not like I care about my shards. As I said before, we should be fine there. My cards in hand are okay. I wonder if it's actually worth just getting rid of this. That was a much better draw. No regrets on that one. That was no regrets, because we should be able to refresh here no matter what. At least it seems like every floor it can't get cursed. 
No, 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 no. So we got a much better card. Bomb jump is more useful. Get rid of the recast if I need to. Dude, we have just a very offensive deck. But the extra dive, I, I think we added basically like four additional mobility cards. So I shouldn't really get a hand that should be dead at this point. If it is, that would just be so, so, so unlucky. We have so many things that gain AP incidentally. I don't care about the cool shrine, it's fine. That's a good draw. So jettisoning the, the stealth card would have been nice, but I wouldn't have drawn the jettison anyway. In this scenario. I think I just move over and then boomerang? Or do I pounce this target immediately? I guess the question is how much damage do I think I could do with Boomerang? Let's try Boomerang. We were talking about this before. I think I want the Poly hit more than I want the other abilities. Ooh, that is a strong draw. If I could get closer. Recast and save myself AP here. It's huge. I think I want to do. Perfect. Mercurio came in handy there. That let me set up a new turn I would not normally be able to get. Oh, they're like just not lined up. That's so unfortunate. Do I want to jettison anything yet? I don't think I do. And again, if we waste another turn, I think that's okay. I think it's better I just walk up in melee. So yeah, our Curio let us do three additional damage there, which I think is really big. I could delete the target instantly if I need to. I could do this and recast and be in a good position. Now I actually have a card that kills here. I didn't have before. Let's use it. Here we go. That way I keep my shock jumps, which I do want. Axe spin, jettison in case I draw something bad, or if I draw a card draw. Interesting room. Ooh, do I go for initiative here? Actually, a good question. Uh, I think we have to go for the recast here. This is too powerful. So it moves us further in the room. And I could do this. We killed one of the targets completely. And I could just eliminate him if I need to. Or I could save the AP, but I don't see the point in doing that yet. Yeah, let's go for damage here. The two targets eliminated off of one jump. So if I go over one space, I do a lot of damage to the room. Do I want to jettison anything? Jettison a shuriken. Maybe the dash? Big damage. I like that double elimination. Only I can multi hit this last part. What are you doing here? You have to teleport. Okay. If I tell, if I jump here, I'm in a good position to kill him next turn. I think that's the right play. Oh, he's immunity. Never mind. Let's remember it. He got hookshot to escape. Which should be fun. 
we're going to over here, I think. Space two more. Alright, let's not burn any more cards. Should be able to just walk up melee kill at least here. Gotta be careful how many cards I'm using. I went through an eighth of the deck. This is a room I really need to use cards on. Alright, let's hopefully we draw something good. I know. I don't think I want to teleport here. Unless I want to... Actually, I think I do. Shuriken him, or I can shoot and kill the other target. Oh, I need to be closer. Um, I guess there's no downside to Shuriken it then. I might as well gain AP, teleport forward. Got Flight, which is interesting. But do you get a recast here? Just having kind of infinite turns right now, which is fine. But not quite enough to kill. Get an extra AP from this, so we might as well ask. Need some projectiles to deal with the sarcophagi. Two to do three. I don't think this helps me. Probably gonna help that another turn. Need to somehow get more damage out of this. If I walk forward in melee, I do four damage. Not good enough. If I shoot, it does four damage. That's not good enough. I could zip to try to draw a card. And maybe I'll draw into aerial ace. This guy needs to go, for sure. Not a pounce. Let's move forward. Hopefully they don't go too far away. I'm gonna draw an extra card. I don't have enough to kill if it spawned a target, was I was thinking. I could do this to just do free damage long distance. Terrible. I just wish I had like a more... It's like a little card draw, but like not a lot of card draw. We can afford to take damage from the bees, I'm not worried about them. It's more like... Need to get rid of the extra health bar there, for sure. Let's do this. That's actually really good. There 
go. Hookshot putting in the work. There we go, chat. If you had any questions about its utility before, look at this nonsense. We. Perfect. Well, that was easy. Can I just take the damage? <sighs> Only one. As long as I don't. As long as I don't take wound damage afterwards, we'll, we'll take the turn loss, so I save some cards. One damage is okay. Taking, like, five is, like, not good. I did not mean to walk that way. That was a wasted combat turn. What are we doing in terms of combat turns? I'm gonna be at around 30 or less right now. 29. <laughs> I could just shame heal the enemy really do anything for me. Let's teleport in and finish this. This should heal me outside of combat. There we go. Yay, I got rid of the healing card. And it means I can survive longer. And I'm glad I did, because there's a very annoying retaliate in this room. Why is there always a retaliate, Chad? It's so sad. Just want to be able to enjoy the room. For big damage here, it's not terrible. Like, he has to die in two hits. The question is, do I even want to take those two hits? Because if I don't do that, that's the downside. Let's at least go here. That way, this guy should die no matter what. If he's not going to attack me this turn, which is good. Now, if I boomerang, this might be fine. Got an extra AP here. Let's get an extra AP here. I'm gonna try to kill the demon if we can. So we'll take some damage from Retaliate, but killing the snake I think is more important. Hopefully, hopefully this sets us up into something. Kinda did. I can walk forward, kill the demons. Boulder Bash through here, where I could do the invert. So if I walk forward, Cardinal and Spark, I think he's dead. The question is more, how badly do I care if the Worm lives another turn? I don't think I care. Yeah, let's do this. I guess I could have meleeed the worm twice, but it, it effectively doesn't matter because it'll be at the same health no matter what. I'll just walk back into range. If it wants to do something, everything should basically be in one-touch range for me. Oh, where he went the long way around. That's kind of awkward. Uh, was not expecting that, to be honest. I thought he- I guess I should have seen him blocking there. That's a bit unfortunate. We need to somehow position to kill this target. It could go, like, here. Let's wish I had a little more damage. Question is, how badly do I care about the worm? I still don't think I care about the worm. I just don't think I could kill this target with what we have. It's just a pile. Like, what are you gonna do this turn? Okay, so you're gonna charge me if I let you do things. I guess I could just get rid of the worm now. Hold 
hold on to our cards. It might back up a space for more damage. Let's use Shock Dump, because I think Boomerang is better. Hopefully we get to the exit soonish. I still have half my deck left. This is not the worst position we've been in. Oh, sweet, beautiful double Boomerang. Holy, this room is about to take so much damage. I could jettison the Stealth card, which is, I think, what I want to do. Let's get rid of that now. And I can get rid of this eye. And now that's fine. Think about it. I have Aerial Ace to delete a target. So I can Aerial Ace potentially one of the targets. I can do one damage to him. I think the right play is just to do this for now. Draw more cards. Card, that's huge. Cool. Now if I go here and boomerang, this should be big damage. Or I can axe spin too. And now I should be flying. So I have my delete card online. This should be a lot of damage. For cards. Everything's about in range, so it's not super useful. I could poly hit here, I think I will. Fantastic. Ooh, what a good room clear. That'll make up for some of the prior rooms. Okay, hopefully we get a uh, hard refresh. Health up is fine, that means we can take some hits in the later room and come back. We did not get the card refresh, but we got extra life. And now we have to play a guessing game. Where's the exit? This is not the exit. So I can do... It's a very awkward hand. Um... Very awkward hand. What do we even do with this? If we get over there and get play. Would that do anything for me? One, two, three. So if I move. Okay, so I want to go up three to potentially one shot those other creatures. Then it puts me in kind of a bad position afterwards. Do you have anything that gains me AP at all? One, two, three. Is that correct? Am, am I counting that correctly? I hope I am. No, it's only two. Okay. I need four. Alright, I need to go up four. It'll be one, two, three, four. So I could do this. And that puts him at one health. Maybe that's okay? We have flight. That's a lot of damage to the room. Like, overall, that sped up the room clear by quite a bit. Then I just bonk you. A good use of Axe Spin, glad we got an extra of that. I just need to do a little damage here. Or not to lose anything too crazy here. I guess I could get rid of this for now. At some point, we need to know where the exit is, is the problem. I do not want to activate this room. No, thank you. In a combat turn challenge, why would I take extra challenges? So we have like 15 turns to maybe find the boss. Now, unfortunately, it's all guesswork as to where the boss is. So if we clear each room in like one turn, we should be fine. We can allow like maybe two two-turn rooms, maybe one three-turn room. We have to clear this pretty efficiently. 
I think I gotta be somewhat aggressive here. Is there a way... See, now I'm not sure if headshot... Do I count four tiles from me, or do I count four tiles in between? Now I just find myself doubting the basic mechanics, which is not a good sign. I guess I'll draw cards here. There's no downside to this. No, we don't have a lot of cards left, but it is important that we draw. Okay, so I got an air move. I'm gonna save that for later. Uh, I could pounce, which will let me get a couple kills. I just wish I could get like one more point of AP. I could discard Shadow Walk, White Flutter for more AP. Maybe that's okay. I got a shock out of it, which is interesting. The Winnow Double Shock can kill the green ones. I guess I could have held off a little bit for the pounds. Let's move down here and find out. Okay, so that... So that time... <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me you have two different cards that use the language the shot travels exactly four tiles as opposed to the number of tiles the shot has traveled and those don't mean the same thing? Remember, chat? Because we just went through this earlier. This would be three damage with this ability because it causes precision. So one damage for each trial traveled is different than travels exactly four tiles. My like, do you see why I'm confused? I'm glad we have this in our hand. Go clip that, chat. That makes no sense. This is why I get confused playing this game sometimes. That actually makes no sense. That is tomfoolery at its finest. Wish I had a boomerang. Sadly, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh, I could get another- oh, I could get two cards here. That wouldn't be bad. Gives me more options. I could draw into Boomerang. Drawing into Zip is huge. Uh, I don't have a lot of good AoE options, though. Let's pounce. Worst thing that happens is I cancel this, but I probably just continue anyway. Yeah, I think we just do this anyway. We need to do 3 damage. So now if I go left up, I should be able to one-shot, right? So this works differently than the... Wait, why does that now not work? Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, discounted. That's fine. Um... I think as long as I move over a space, I'm fine, right? Oh, you can't even reach me. Well, that's fine. We'll go here. We lost one turn here, which is fine. I win. I don't want to use Bat Dive yet. I want to save that for the next room. I don't have, like, another good... I want to use my jump ability here, though. Might have to. I'd prefer not to do this, but I think I gotta do it. Because this is just such great mobility. Save a card. We still have half the deck, more or less. I could take one hit. Need to find the exit. There's the exit. Okay. We're looking good. I just have to clear this room without dying. Okay, this is going much better than before. A lot of... Oh. Collectors in here. Of course there are. Um... Decision only works on kill. Initiative works if their health resets. Initiative is like disgustingly good against multiple health bars. If I draw extra cards and choose to skip my turn, I think I do. We have enough cards to win. If I draw any energy ups, yeah, then it's just immediately worth it. Let's aerial ace. 
Well, it's just normal teleport. Do I just walk up and... I think I'm gonna aerial ace, but then I lose my still. Uh, I don't know if it matters. I'm just thinking about the best way to get through this room. The problem is I can't I can't get through this because of that. So I could go like over here and then bats dive to the side, I think, to get the most distance. So I guess I could in theory aerial ace. So I save a teleport. Kill you. I can go in the room now if I want to. One shot you now if I need to. B I'm not really worried about. Unless I get hit twice, then it's a problem. Because it's only a problem if I get hit by move. Zip kill him. If that makes sense. Oh, there's an enemy in the middle of the room. Um, let's hit you then. I swear, those things really are invisible to me. There we go. Now I should be able to shock jump some of these, I think. Any multi hits? That's probably worth it. Kill you. Take the wound. That's fine. As long as we're not getting multi-hit, which we aren't, this should be GG for the enemy. I can spark. I need to... I need to get an AP somehow. don't want to kill them because then it's gonna do something really terrible to me so i think what i do is i actually just shoot the bee to avoid taking damage here and then next turn when it spawns something i can kill it with the other ability it's much better almost the poly hit that's the only thing I'm worried about, which we can now delete. So there we go. We finally made it through. So unfortunately, this wastes another turn. But we should have, like, 15 turns? Oh, we have 20 turns? Well, that's fine. I'm sure Chow would agree. That's, that's, that's fine. If I take 19 turns to kill this boss, I'm not killing the boss. Like, with the Traveler deck, it's just not happening. I think we could all just agree. If it somehow goes to turn 19 with Traveler, I've died. Definitely need to restock here. Restocking would be a big mistake not to do. We're back at full health. We have one heal card. Our cards in hand are okay. Potentially, Headhunt will let us one-shot the boss. And honestly, Cardinal Shot will get through stealth. So we have three anti-stealth cards and a very annoying matchup. I just need to draw a movement. I think we're fine. Oh, we don't even need to beat the boss? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. I got the bonus room. I guess that's what happens if you come here fast enough? Because I, I didn't unlock this normally. Huh. What do you say, Chad? Do I just do the boss? I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't care about those cards. It's up to you, Chad. I wonder if the boss menu is glitched, actually, is another question I should be asking myself. This was the pretty awful uh, duo boss, but the difference is that I actually have the ability to target at a distance now. Do it? Okay, we'll do it. Alright, so now it seems to be working. Let it be known, it looks like it's working, so we'll say we live the boss battle. The one on the right is actually going to be the problem for me. I don't really care about this other guy. I should just be able to snipe him basically every turn. I need one mobility card and we're fine. And I think we got it. So if I get one flight card, aerial ace will end the counter. They're not in a way that I could really benefit from this. So what are you doing currently? You're going to challenge me if I'm close enough. 
It means I just have to not be in a position for you to do anything, which is fine. So I can pounce to get close. I need to make sure I have one mobility skill, so Aerial Ace should get us out of there, no matter what. I think the right call is to pounce, because I'm not really going to get another use of this card, unless I get a lot of AP. I believe I'm out of range of his taunt. It's perfect. I don't need to do anything if I don't want to. I can eliminate the other guy's health bar already, which is kind of crazy. He's sadly too close to me. And we can always shock jump to get, like, a ridiculous uh, setup on these attacks. But honestly, as soon as we kill this target, I think it's just kind of over. We just need to make sure to- oh, he's got another health bar. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, he's getting kind of destroyed. Now we gotta get a little lucky and draw well. Let's set up for Cardinal Shot, I think. Oh, he flew away from me. Interesting. Unity 1. That's actually kind of annoying. What are you doing this turn? Normal attacks. Alright, so I mostly just need to stall. So I've shock jumped to potentially set up for headshot, so I can instantly take away a health bar. Aerial Ace is kind of huge, but I don't want to use it yet. I wonder if it's worth this thing. Can I reach him in Zip? No. Do something like this to set up for a good turn next turn. It's Retaliate 3. He's the one I'm kind of scared of. I don't think the other guy matters at all. Unless we leave him alone for like a really long amount of time, then it matters. Um... That Retaliate is a problem, so he is now immune to me basically a turn. So I think I need to kill him first. But whenever we're faced with this situation, I think what we could do is just damage the other champion as low as possible, but not kill them. I think I actually want to save initiative on the other target as well. So what can I do? One, two, three. So that's not far enough. So I need to somehow go further. It's still not good enough. I really have to use Aerial Ace here? That feels so bad. Because this definitely will set me up for an easy kill. I can't melee the other target. He's gonna do something to be annoying. I basically need to go up two spaces and then zip, maybe? I think the blue spot is where he wants to fly to hit me. If I'm looking at that correctly. Is it worth popping his shield? I don't think it is. I mean, he could just get healed again. I guess that's fine. I go up two and then cardinal. Oh, where's my energy moves? You see what I mean, chat? This is so awkward. Where I have no card draw, no energy in my whole hand, no flight. That is so awkward. Um. Damn, if only I could re use initiative on this. Yeah, that's really awkward. I don't know what to do. I mean, this headshot I'm gonna use to kill him. That I'm 100% sure of. When he's down to one bar, I'm headshotting him. So we mostly just need to get out of the way without burning too many cards. So I guess I'll play it safe this turn and do... Where am I out of both of their ranges? Like, if I go up here, this is fine. That's not quite where I thought he was going to end his turn. So he gave immunity again, but I think to the other character. So it's really just this retaliate really wish he didn't have this. How much is the Retaliate? Is it just one damage? I might have to just risk it, honestly. 
Again, I can't play, like, too scared of him. Like, I do need to kill him. Retaliate 1 is fine. Retaliate 3 is also fine. I just can't get, like, three retaliates in a row. So I think I'm willing to... Maybe hop the setup for a headshot here. He does not have immunity, correct, before I go any further. You're just gonna fly. I wish I knew what those icons meant, so I think... That's immunity and stealth. I think the exclamation mark is immunity. He's got shield and punish. Okay, so if I go up here, there should be not full damage, right? Yeah, okay, good. We'll take damage. This is fine. One damage is fine. One damage is fine. Welcome, RHBS55. Hope you're doing well. <sighs> the Retaliate 3 is the problem. I care not about the other abilities that the bosses have. That's actually a problem for us. Don't sure I can and cancel stealth. Maybe that's worth it. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Why teleport? Or do that. What are you doing? You're attacking a straight line. You are not anywhere I want to be because you have retaliate. I guess I just damage you this turn. Do this. Better card. Draw other shuriken, which is fine. We could just get our flight cards. This battle would be over. There we go, chat. We gotta whittle it down. Yeah. I I don't recall what the inspect button is, honestly. I don't feel like touching random controls at the moment. Thank you, though. Uh, I don't think I do anything here because. All of my abilities require me to be close. And I don't want to be close to him this turn. If they heal, that's fine. I could get another shuriken out of the deck. I just wish there was more I could... If the other guy didn't have retaliate, I would probably have sharp dashed through. I'm saving aerial ace because we have five of those and five stealth packs. I'm kind of sad we didn't just draw them. This fight would have been over already. I have Cardinal Shot to help finish one of their health bars, but I think I'm gonna save it for this guy, because he's kind of a problem for us with, uh... Yeah, so now he retaliates for four, which is too high for us to deal with. I think there's anything I can do. Which is kind of sad. I have all this AP, but none of it really matters. I mean, I guess I can shoot him. I got extra AP. So that'll do three, because the math in this game is weird. I guess I could do... This to get rid of a health bar? I think that's fine, then we're out of the way anyway. It's probably a better use. He's gonna be in range, so that's fine. So we don't care about killing the other champ, I don't want to kill him yet anyway. We just gotta kill the Tauner. Or I need to draw my health card. Or we need to draw Aerial Ace. I don't care that- you... Retaliate 1's fine. I can work with Retaliate 1. Alright, so we have two Cardinal Shots, so I can get rid of a health bar right now if I need to. I can choose to teleport if I need to. But if I move- Ooh. That's a problem, I can't get stunned. Where am I? Where am I? Uh, I mean, I can zip, but... Does this put me out of range of both attacks? It doesn't. So annoying. Alright, so if I zip, I could double Cardinal Shot, but then I have to Shine Spark away, which is a really huge commitment on my cards. I can 100% get rid of his health bar here if I want to. The question is, do I want to? So I would take 3 damage but he'd be down a health bar. And then we would just be literally holding out for Aerial Ace. As soon as we draw our card draw, which we have like eight of for our energy cards, we're fine. We could purposely get grit. Yeah, I don't really like this. 
Because I'm worried. Oh. This feels so bad. If I draw another aerial ace or a flight card, I'm gonna be so bad. The problem is, like, I more need. I need to like get out of range, but also just had slightly different options, so I don't take as much damage. I mean, I guess if we're gonna just continue, I guess I should inevitably draw another flight card. It just, I would have liked to have done this to one-shot the other target. Like, I zipped through them and then just killed them with Aerial Ace. Which is how I was planning to end the match earlier. I don't know how often he's gonna be at just one Retaliate, though. That'll put me at two... I guess. I guess we should go for this. We don't do that. As long as he doesn't target next to him, which he doesn't, we should be fine here. Take a little damage here. Ah. He's down to one health bar. We can try to be greedy and save the shines. Just save the aerial ace. I guess it's fine. Because if we get flight, we get just one-shot one of them. And I think it's probably worth doing. Alright, we're now in draw-go mode, so I gotta dodge them for a while. So they're all almost one-shotable. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Where was this earlier? That also would have been very useful. Um, they're kind of in a way that I can't do anything, so I think I'm just gonna move for now. Draw some cards. Are the other target's immune. We're getting more cards to deal with them. That's all I'm viewing this as. <laughs> no! Where was this also earlier? Come on. <laughs> Chat, please. I feel like I'm actively getting trolled now. Can we agree? Like, remember when I had that completely dead hand of jumps? Would have been able to just wombo combo the other guy to death? So, like, if in theory I did this, I would go there and get hit by the immunity. If I zip, I just need Aerial Ace to trigger. There are, like, 15 cards that will end this encounter instantly. There's some that help with the combo. I don't think there's anything I can do this turn. We're gonna, we're gonna play passive. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. Unless I draw, like, Shuriken Storm, I'm not really gonna get punished for this. Yeah. Let's end our turn. Yeah, that draw RNG is atrocious. We would we would have been done eons ago if we drew a flight card. He wouldn't even have gotten to this point where he puts down projectiles. There we go. So now now I can play deleted enemy. Okay. So now now we have everything we need to one shot the whoever lives dies. <laughs> Basically between the two of them, they die instantly. So we got the boss deletus. So I can hook shot into double aerial ace if I want to kill the other target right now. I think what I need to do is stall one more turn. I need like one more damage card and then I think we're good. Retaliate 4 is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Can you, can you not get that much? <laughs> right chat, please? Now we get shock jump, that would have also a better draw over the other one. Oh, you're down to- oh, it faded. You were at four, it went down to one, okay. So retaliate one doesn't matter. So I could delete this other enemy now, which I think I want to do. I have shock jump to dodge in case it puts me in a bad position, and I have hook shot so that I can hit the boss. So in theory, I, I can draw almost anything and kill the other boss. So I think it's better for me to kill this guy. I don't really want to see what he does if he's upgraded. I should just do 10, so I'm just gonna go... I guess 
the question is, were you... Oh, you're not even attacking this turn. Yeah, we have to go. Do something like this. I think I gotta line up with him. Let's do this, just in case. Shield, shield doesn't... Oh. Gone. I don't think shield matters for that, though, right? I mean, the worst thing that happens is I go right one more time. Yeah, you still die regardless. We'll take one more damage. But I think it's worth it to kill this target. So, I could jettison something if I need to. We need to do, like, very little damage. He's down to only 5 health. So, any really good ability... Will that work? So, hookshot... Hook okay, so the way, the way this will work... Hookshot, if I hit the target... We'll cancel his stealth, do a damage. I can gain an energy by choosing not to use it again. I could shock jump for two damage. I could jettison zip, or I could kill with zip. I think this is GG no matter what. So I think no matter what I do here, takes damage and dies. Yeah, I don't think it matters what I do. So, yeah. I'm glad we waited a turn. GG, I guess. Okay. So you know what the sad part is? I think we still did that in 60 turns. <laughs> oh, Traveler, you're so busted. You don't make any sense. Oh, I got another bats dive? Oh, it was from you? Oh, that's unfair. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, okay. Just, just improve the deck more, it's fine. That is funny. Yeah, it is a shame that some of the card descriptions are not correct still. Like, we were looking at the, uh, what was it? Headhunter versus Precision Shot on the other card. Get the name of it see it in this list. Bullseye. Yeah, Bullseye and Headhunter talking about tiles traveled, but they don't count tiles the same way is very silly. I, well, actually, maybe they do. Maybe it's more that the initial shot does literally zero damage. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe it's actually working as intended. It just does literally zero damage unless it moves a tile. I, maybe that's how it works. I guess I'll rescind that comment from earlier. That's fine. What do I want to get rid of? Um, Headhunt was super good. Headhunt is like our boss kill. Honestly, I should probably put more Headhunts in here. Let's see. We have three Bullseyes. Which were kind of okay. Honestly, I might get rid of a normal Bullseye for another Headhunt if I got it. Oh, I only have one Headhunt. Oh, that's sad. What? Well, I'll take another Bats Dive over Bullseye. So we did have three jettisons, I just didn't draw them, despite going through 50 cards. And, uh... We did have five flights, so we had, we had ten cards that grant flight. So we had pretty good odds of drawing into it. I'm half wondering for... I did like the- I did like trying out the Shinobi's thing where we cancel... to get more AP. It's definitely not like the most OP thing ever, there's definitely better relics, but it was nice to try it. Yeah, I'd one where it was like Kunai and stuff. Can I just save another deck? Or am I at the max? I might be at the max. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, did the UI fix itself? What happened? Now this is working again? Earlier in the session, for people that missed it, when I was scrolling through here, the deck list was clipping through save and close. But it seems to be fine now. That's interesting. Oh no. <laughs> I should delete these decks. Let, let's just delete these decks. Chat, remember remember the raider struggles? The raider struggles were real. We're never using that again. Okay, so it's select if I want to do that in the future. Do I want to really change anything? I mean, we have this... I mean, no matter what they do with Strider's gloves, this is just really broken. <laughs> just, this, this relic is clearly better than everything. 
Yeah, the fact that it charges on move, dash, jump, zip, and teleport, it's like, if you exist, you get this ability. I might as well just put this back in. If, if I do this, what I should probably do is uh, remove most of my card draw, to be honest. I mostly just need energy ups. I could get like another ninja backpack if I want, for example. Or where's the one where I get AP when I strike? This one's probably not worth it. I think I'd rather have a ninja backpack that costs nothing. Oh, great. Yeah, I think I'd rather get an another ninja backpack here for more consistent AP gain versus do a damage and do that. I think that benefits us a bit more. Rain down was a good one of. Hook shot was really good. Bats dive was disgusting with the resets. It's a little less useful. Like I'll probably go down a hook shot, and then maybe go up a ninja backpack. So I, I do like the strategy of having the like five hook shots, five dives, uh, five pounces, five whatever, because that's like twenty chances to get AP. Maybe, maybe this is better? Try it out, I guess. Do I want to get rid of anything else? I guess I'll get rid of the Raider decks. Oh, the... <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I like how few cards this is. Remember when we run one with that? Let's never remember that again. Oh, I lost the Jettison there. I could technically go up a Jettison, but... Honestly, it can be kind of a dead card. I think three is fun. I could get rid of Shadow Walk if I'm doing this. I don't really need Stealth most of the time. It is interesting that I can select this and add a card this way. I don't, I don't think I usually do that, but I guess it is good. I'll get rid of Reef for Spite. Another Sharp Dash. Dash is okay. Sure, can I'm okay with having five of because they I could just play them between rooms to play through their drawback. But the backpack will just basically let me get a free shuriken, which is fine. It's just basically like thinning my deck. I could technically put in one hook so that way the first time I backpack I get AP. So that would be okay. Yeah, poor Raider. It knows what it did. Listen, they had a chance to buff Raider chat. They chose not to do it. That's not my fault. That is just absolutely not my fault they chose not to buff those cards more. <laughs> They're really good at boss killing, but oh my gosh, getting to the boss is a absolute nightmare. I still love that my favorite Raider deck so far. What dungeons did I clear already? Uh, all but Magma Dungeon and and we mostly just left because I didn't want to do that. So I guess now we do I do I do a taboo deck real quick? I haven't bothered with it. It seems kind of easy to do. Yeah, let's let's get the taboo thing out of the way just before we make the everything harder for us. We haven't, like, touched that at all. Uh, I don't know if I'll go, like, full dark side. I at least just want the quest out of the way. Grave Summons was good. I did like Grave Summons. We use. It's funny because we actually used these cards before, but it didn't count the, in the arena, which is absolute nonsense. Queen's Arrival seems ridiculous. There's a lot of really powerful teleport cards here, which is kind of interesting. Bishop Snipe, I like that. Swap the values of the caster's current HP with caster's current AP? I don't think so. Ooh, 
I don't think I want to play dice roll. Let's <laughs> chat it seen my RNG luck. <laughs> I'm gonna roll the one and take six and die. Fact. Um. Wow, Gleaming Eye is such a hard counter to the place we were in. That's kind of crazy. Holly hit heals. Kind of nice. Do I have enough travel? I guess I do have enough traveler cards. Heal on all units in an area, then fire shot that inflicts damage. Okay, I can heal. Up your random card. <laughs> chat, chat, instant max. Well, let's just win with this. This is fine. We just see. Oh, I guess I should get rid of the curio. What should we even wear? Do I have anything related to it? I don't think I do. Um, I don't think it matters. Oh, let's see the whole dungeon, I guess. All right, that'll be fun. I haven't used that yet, actually. Let's save over one of our other things. I don't think I'm going to be using this one anymore. So let's get rid of that. We're going to fond memories over the other decks, but uh, Ra Raider, Raider, can, Raider knows what it did. That was pure suffering. Gain 3 AP whenever loot is collected. That's not bad. We basically found everything. We're almost done with all the quests. Seeking morning are both great. Nice, nice. Yeah, we played with uh, the grave spawning one, which I think it might be morning that you referenced there. I didn't pay attention to the card name, but uh, yeah, we went to the arena and it was very silly because it basically hard carried everything. Oh, let me check to see if uh, there's any more rare cards. So I think I'm missing one quest in town, but I don't see who has it. So oh, maybe I have to get the last challenge in the arena at some point. No more rare cards. Oh, it exhumes one. Yeah, I haven't really been paying attention to the traveler mechanics. This is literally the first time we've used it outside of the arena. So I used like only a handful of cards. The zombie spawning one was amusing. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here worth doing. It seems to not be memory leaking, so I'm happy the new patch fixed that. Remember that, chat? Remember the memory leaks? Those were real. Oh, if I talked to her, that would make me so sad. Um... Does it really matter? I just gotta go through a floor, right? I could technically go to Magma City and then leave. I guess? Get a little sneak preview. I don't want to clear the dungeon unless it's part of the other challenge, so we'll, we'll see what the enemies are like here. I remember they had like a decent amount of retaliate. Yeah, yeah, complain. Oh, explosive barrels, that's right. Yeah, let's see how these cards work in unison. The queen literally moves like a chess queen. Immunity stops me from just deleting them instantly. This should have so dumb, chat. Why does it exist? <laughs> just like it puts Traveler so far ahead of but like pretty much everything. So there's no stealth units here. So Gleaming Eye is not that useful here. Click stun to target. Mob blocks passive. Interesting. That's kind of neat. I guess with the shield counters. Plus two damage for each eight. Sadly, I can't just delete the enemy there. Place target unit to do that. Okay. I just kind of took random cards. I just wanted to cast it. I don't really care if I live or not here. It's like a queen's arrival because it's confusing. Get closer. So we have a lot of creatures with immunity, so we have to be careful about that going forward. He's dead if I just burn him. Mm 
question is more... I think if it's a bullet, it means that I can't stand next to the enemy and do it. I could stun him, potentially. Would that buy me? Might as well as, actually. Ah, so he's immune. Immune to burn, but I can use it here. Okay, so... We have to remember the icons. It's been a while since we played. So it said phaser, so I wasn't sure. Shots we know we definitely can't do. So like shuriken, we can't use next to the target with phaser's cast. So that's a good mistake. Um... Place target unit to a target position, placing an alpha star mark in the target's position. Well, that's interesting. Um... Do you manage for each AP? I'll just hold my cards. I feel like drawing more and just toying with him, honestly. We'll get rid of this. Okay, so I just gotta go to the exit now if I need to. I go to the mystery room and heal. Do I just try to leave? I mean, I guess I gotta go up and then left no matter what. Lots of immunity creatures. And retaliate. Hmm. That's not a really fun combo for Traveler. Traveler loves characters that have high HP, have low HP, but more importantly, don't have immunity or retaliate, because their health totals do not matter to Traveler. That they could have three health bars, I could still kill them in a turn. But this is kind of a problem. Sure, let's copy a random card. Wait, did that? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, it's taboo because it dupes. That's fair. I was trying to think about why we didn't get the achievement earlier. That's fair. I think that I think that came up once before. Target combat unit heal plus one for each of my ally. Oh, it is truly random. I was hoping it was random from our deck. Yeah, taboo is a trait. That's a bullshit deck. Oh. Uh... I think I really want to do anything in this room. I think he's just dead now. Take the damage. I do want to check out the chest a little bit. There's one card I'm looking for. Maybe it's worth finally upgrading a booster pack. Now that I'm looking for literally just one card in the arena, which is so sad. Oh my gosh, I forgot what healing was. It's been so long since we've had healing from normal stuff. We just gotta get back to the exit, which should be below us. So no stealth creatures here, so Gleaming Eye is pointless. Irish Shot inflicts one damage. Mina's already suffering Root Apply Petrify instead. That's kind of nice. I could kill this thing instantly. I could also kill it with this. I mean... It really matters what I do here. I gotta wait a turn anyway. Pretty much at the end, anyway. What are you doing this turn? You're just gonna teleport. I could force. So it is potentially useful if I root a target and then teleport them. Maybe that's what the thought process is. Like, for example, I would Frigid Spear the target that I want to get hit by the star. That way I could do massive damage. I guess that's what the combo is. In the meantime, I guess I might as well just move forward. Ooh, he went full screen on me. That's kind of rude. 
Dude, you literally dead hand. Nice, love it. One more of those, that would be fine. Let's get closer. Yeah, we're mostly just looking to leave. I just wanted to get the quest done real fast. He managed to complete it. So... I don't want it to do a lot of damage. I mostly just need to do a little bit of damage. One, the other. I guess the the intent is that I would put down one of the checkers and hit them with a piercing attack. Are you doing this turn? Oh, you're just teleporting. Uh, I think no matter where he moves here, I could just kill him if I really need to. I didn't need to move. That's fine. Once we go through here, I just leave. Ooh. What an unfortunate room. So if this character is not immune to Petrify, he just dies here next turn. So he has to put the fish bait somewhere that I can reach. Question is Don't like our hands. I'll take a safety heal just to get a new card. I guess I'll move over for next turn. I guess I have to step in the lava or something stupid. Um Is Is he trying to help me? Why did he do that? I mean, I get. I guess that's one way to escape. Just walk into the lava? Question mark. Oh, it's a shot, not a laser. So he's out of range to just teleport him into something else, which would have been amusing. I wish I did not have this many dead cards. I guess I could do this to protect myself. Like me? I don't really care what the key guy does. What an idiot. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to see if the key goblin did move. Uh. Image 10, stealth and bestow stealth 1 to visible units in the area. I, does that include myself with it? I wasn't entirely sure, to be honest. I mostly just wanted to see this. Oh, I don't think he's going to live long enough to petrify. That's unfortunate. Unless petrify takes precedence. No, it doesn't. Oh, I wanted to try that. Okay, he escaped. That's fine. Kind of neat. Yeah, Exhum's a pretty neat mechanic. I like drawing from the grave. Anyway, I got to play with some of those cards briefly. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. Let's just leave. Uninterested in the treasure room. Unless, uh, maybe if I get rid of a couple of these. I could have one in case we fight another mage. Because he will stealth eventually if I really feel like using it. I guess I should try to get one treasure room. image there. I move forward a tile. I can do slightly more work. Kind of zip, 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 kill. If I go through him left, and it'll be... He's only got two health bars, right? I could go left, right, then end up in front of the goblin. Does that do anything for me? Not really. I'm not gonna lie, chat, this is barely legible. So, if I had to guess what this mess of letters is, I'm assuming he's immune to frog, but he's not immune to poison and disease. 
but I think this just kills him. Zip through the other guy because it's funny. I didn't technically damage him. I guess it would help to get through a health bar here. There should die next turn without me needing to do anything. Teleporting him somewhere because it's funny. What are you doing currently? You're gonna pull me towards you. Okay. Let's just mess with you a little bit. Oh. Oh, I don't have to swap you with a specific target. That's fair. Oh, summon beetle. That's. I mean. Maybe next turn. Over there. Now he's out of range. The downside with Summon Beetle is that I think he's probably gonna attack the Tower Gargoyle before he attacks this. Unless I place it like, I don't know, like right here. Maybe he won't be stupid. Maybe. I mean, I've seen them do really dumb things. You know what? We'll see what they do. Okay, that time he behaved. Uh. No, I just need to do any damage and this thing dies. So you gotta teleport. So I'm gonna go one melee summon. I remember spamming this a lot in the uh, arena. Goodbye. Look how often they attack. It's so silly. What a card. Magnetic force, not what I'm looking for. We're looking for uh, meditate. If we get meditate from the super packs, I'm gonna be so happy. about. Ooh, he's getting a little choppy again. Maybe the frame rate issue still there. We'll do a nice little reset of the game. Yeah, see how I'm, like, missing frames? Also, what? Store all that came before. Don't know what that means? I don't think we've done that before. What does that mean? Store all that. I mean, I guess I should use it just to learn. I mean, I have to refight the enemy? What does that mean? Does. Okay. Interesting. I, I think I think we've only seen that literally once so far. It's interesting to get it again. I mean, I guess this is more chance for cards, I guess. Out of range of what they were targeting. Yeah. It should be basically GG. This card is so stupid. I mean, look at this chat. Look how much pressure and annoying blockers we have on the screen. What a card. Like, oh, were you playing Oracle? If only you played better. The Oracle is fun. To be fair, Oracle is actually fun. 
Um, let's just finish you. Kill you with the Raider card while playing All Traveler. Or Traveler. A stranger, I mean. Like how we unlock the exit again. It is a shame it didn't reset the treasure room. That would have been so sick. I did reset these, though. Dang. Um... This is probably fine. I, I saw what I needed to see. Dude. Okay, in town it's mostly fine. Do that dungeon then. Yeah, we had a big issue when we were doing a lot of the... Was it the library? I think it was the library, where if we if we repeatedly went into the fog effect over and over, or is the ghost ship? Might have been the ghost ship. One of those two would lag out the game because of memory leaks. I don't want to go back and test it again. I think we should be good here. Um, I don't see any new characters, so I'm assuming I can just go back this way. I think otherwise we only have one quest left, question mark, with our traveler buddy. Let's talk to the stranger. How's your progress with chaos going? Oh, you did it. You went and did it. Did it feel transgressive to see, use trans... Oh, excuse me. Let's try this again. Did it feel transgressive to use stranger cards? Did you feel any different? The stranger has this characteristic of making you feel alienated from the world, as if you're complicit in breaking fundamental rules of the universe. And you are, but it was the will of the five. The youngest was born for this, born to free the world from this stagnant mire. But why did the four go to the war with the stranger? Why did they seal them? These are the wrong questions. The real question is, what was sealed away? The answer is the desire for change, the one who stole it. Something to think about as you try to master the stranger with my next challenge. I take this as a reward for breaking your chains and listening to me babble. <laughs> so we now have blast stones. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Solar Arrival seems really fun, so if I just wanna play like an all Traveler deck, I'm probably gonna have these just for the AoE clear. It's basically just better versions of what Warden and Raider had because I get the heal and a teleport while also still doing damage. Bed Breath seems okay. I like the fact that potentially I could hex people and stop them from doing annoying things, and maybe very gradually kill them with poison. What is your next challenge? Oh friend, I imagine my last tale made you mighty curious, eh? You see, one of the mysteries of the stranger is the way it preserves and recalls. Weird for the archetype of chaos, you ask yourself, eh? It is indeed, but that is how it works. Now go to a single floor and exhume five cards from the graveyard, and petrify at least two mobs. Five is our magic number, as you know. Do both, and you'll be one of us in my eyes. And I'll tell you the greatest secret of the Harai. Hey, you're trembling with excitement, eh? Um... We do have some petrifies. Interesting, none of these challenges technically require us to bring the, uh... The Traveler. There's not many things that exhume, to be fair. I thought we did have a Petrify card, though. I guess I have a question more, is like, what do we do? Do we continue with the Stranger, or do I just beat the Traveler? The Traveler so far is by far one of my favorites. That deck is so stupid. Oracle, if given a lot of turns, is also a lot of fun, where I just had like near infinite cards. Their only downside was AP. I would have like 30 cards and not a way to play them. Traveler has the exact opposite problem. I either have a lot of AP, a lot of cards, nothing in between. <laughs> if I have AP and cards, they're all gone in a turn. GG. I do miss the Oracle a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I guess we should open packs. Actually, before I do that. Let's upgrade a booster, because I haven't done it. And in case there's an achievement that asks for me to do this, might as well use it once. Uh, let's just convert all of them. There's a batch of converted boosters. Thank you for using our service. So, let's see what we got now. That's not what I meant. That's the button 
know, man. Alright, so we got more Ancients, Golden, we got some Towers. I think we need... Cities? Weirdly, I think we need Cities. Might as well just open all. I'm not sure how many cards we're missing, if any, to be honest with you. I think most of them will be in literally beat the boss mode cards only at this point. The Slaughterhouse of Kara. This might give us something new. Never mind. Okay, seven Legacy of the Ancients. Probably just gonna be a lot of shards that I don't need. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, new card finally. What's this? Meteoric jump. Fall to a central position, suffer three damage and th three turn. Three damage and burn to all nearby enemies. Grant and flick five and burn two. Wait, Raider has a Raider has another movement card, and I haven't had it for this long. Oh, that's so sad, chat. Chat, round of applause. We did it. We 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 solved Raider. It finally has potentially three movement abilities. We can do it now. Where is that movement card been? I know, chat. I just... With how many times we've cleared the mul the other types of dungeons, it's kind of shocking, to be honest. I know. There's only, like, three or four Raider cards we don't have, and apparently one of them was something that we've been looking for forever. Slam's head on desk. Yeah, pretty much. Well... I'm getting a lot of shards. Well, I'm getting more Enlightened. It's Enlightened's a fun card. Oh my gosh, chat. I just want to have an Oracle deck that is just like five of these. Just just go wild with it. Discard target card, draw a card equal to the archetype, and if the next room discarded value, five loops to one. That's sometimes useful. Indeed. Fire a shot and inflict poison seven. Okay. Place an ancient glyph to certain position and applies petrify to an enemy that moves to his position. Okay, that helps with the petrify challenge, potentially. Full dash. Dash inflicting two a push to anything collides with, inflict one to stun if push to unit is an obstacle. When I look at these cards, I'm like, man, Raider sucks. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> right chat? Where where's the Raider card that does stun with their damage? <laughs> Raider's like, listen. I do one thing and one thing only, single bars of health. If there's an enemy with two bars of health, I'm done. <laughs> there's, if the enemy is seven health, I can kill them. But if it's like three, three sets of two, it's over. I mean, throwing money at people is kind of a classic. First shot that inflicts poison two, place webs as it travels and spawns the spider like an impact point. That's kind of neat. It's just kind of like another summon, does free damage. So, retaliate one, inflict root one to first target mod, then first target to second mod. All combat units, caster included, are here for 21 damage. I, I wanna- I wanna eventually- I almost feel like building a deck around this. <laughs> where all I do is spawn like a million summons. Kill my own summons. And or just come in with like a million health, one of the above. Traveler does seem to have a lot of heal cards. Wait, there's another... Fire a phaser that inflicts 10 damage, kill, copy a triple spark. Wow, where was this earlier? Game... Oh, game, come on. <laughs> Which, chat, remember how painful that raider challenge was? Thanks, game. <laughs> I think we need to just face palm. I know. Yeah, like, we were complaining about that before. So, like, raider is just kind of missing, like... I know, it's just like, I feel like they needed another mechanic. We were talking about before, like the concept of overkill, where if you over damage a target, it should do something. A lot of the grit effects just don't really work that well because it has like no immunity or shield or healing. Well, healing would go counterintuitive, but it, it doesn't have any like synergy with it. It would have been nice if it was like, if, if there was a card like Vampiric Touch, where like, if you're in Grit, it puts you at the max HP of Grit, but doesn't send you over. Like, that would have been nice. Like, there's ways you can give them, like, healing and shields. Oh, they should- there's no reason they shouldn't have gotten shield. Shield I already don't like as a mechanic, but... 
There's so many things they could have had in the meantime, chat, to be more useful. Cloud, destroy all props and clear all place traps. Eh. Well, we got more Heaven's Lance and Brilliant Arrow, so there's that. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like, they're really good at one-shotting things, but, like, if you have to hit more than once or move, you're just kind of screwed. And sadly, like, while bosses very easily die to this, just getting getting through those rooms of, like, immunity enemies that flood the screen with summons, it's like, I don't know what to do with Raider in any of those scenarios. It feels so hopeless. <laughs> I'm so sad, I know. I guess we could take a look. I guess I can clear out my deck. I'll try to look at the keyword petrify. One thing that makes me sad is that, like, when you hit select here, it resets your position. Like, I have to go through this very slowly. I'm assuming petrify is one of these. Is this it? No, that's poison. Wait, what? My brain just exploded. Wait, does it not list petrify as an ailment? Blasphemy, that's fine. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Why does it look like a cube? I thought that was like freeze. <laughs> to be real with you. That's fine. I'm looking at the right hand side and I'm laughing. Wait, what? Did I select the wrong one? I think I did. I was like, something weird happened. My bad. Hear this. Try this again. So we have exactly seven things that petrify. <sighs> that makes the petrify challenge kind of annoying. Let's see if we can dupe these cards real quick. Yeah. I mean, I might as well do one more challenge. It is getting kind of late. I am feeling kind of tired. Hence the weird inputs. Oh, actually, I just thought about this. Maybe you can never do these. Yeah. Actually, what I do want to check is we're here. Curiosity. Ooh. We can't dupe those other cards we saw. We can get Triple Spark, which is fine, but oh, that is so sad. Well, sorry, Raider. <laughs> I... I was almost willing to give you another chance if I was able to dupe that movement card. Maybe. That's so sad. I guess I could go back to the other guy and see if I can purchase him from his store. Yeah, it's unfortunate you can't dupe those there. Inconvenient. Yeah, it is. We've literally bought cards from him once and then we ignored him for like the majority of the game. Speaking of which, click to target and flick random effect. If current health is two or less. So let me get this straight. What is the point of this? Plus 10 damage of target current health is two or less. I mean, there is like one enemy type. We, we fought the sarcophagus, and if you overkill that, it kills them. Does this do anything else on any other target? Otherwise, it's kind of a, you need to melee to do two damage. Which doesn't seem worth it most of the time. Like, for example, if I did 10 damage on slimes, does this kill the slime instantly? We've only seen it impact one type of creature so far with overkill. Apocalypse is the main reason. Random combat unit is it for two. No, thank you. Else, one of suffering a random effect and inflict effect. Uh, yeah. yeah, I probably don't have it. Click three, bestow regen to turn. Oh, fire shot. That's kind of an interesting way to cure yourself. Infinite Kunai, fire shot that inflicts one and jump two tiles away. Initiative copy of Infinite Kunai. Oh no. 
That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> that sounds kind of fun and dumb. I might as well buy these. I got nothing better to do with shards. Actually, you know what? There we go. These can convert up to the gems. Bro. Jim Cliff. These. It shouldn't cost us to buy out the whole shop. Let's find out. Imagine not that much. That way I can't complain I don't have Traveler cards. Or, not Traveler, excuse me. Uh, Chaos card. Warning's kind of expensive. In one at random. Yeah, it is good though. We almost purchased everything here. We could just buy these, which is kind of funny to me. These I'm more willing just to spend up to four. Its arrival was a lot of fun. I'll go a little more chill on these. I'll put these just up to four. I'll save money for the rest of the relics. Oh, speaking of which, I didn't check to see if we got the other relic. So eventually we need to do more of those. If I really need, need money, I guess I could desperation fishing minigame. We're not back yet. Okay. Because we only have six curios left, I think, to acquire. Otherwise, we have all the ones you get from the search. So I have however many dungeons that will last us. It's good to zoom. All instances still can card zoom, all instances still Okay. Get a seek. Oh, I have different versions of seek. Okay, I was wondering what was happening there. We have these. More grave summons is fun. More teleports, Fisha, shield, AP wasters. I don't know if I care about blast stone. So immune one inflicts stun one to every mob. Don't know if I care about that. Get one copy of Infinite Kunai Fire Shot, Swamp's Caster and Unit. Mostly just, I have a lot of teleport abilities. Maybe this is good enough. I'll go up to 60 just to round it out a little. Prayer, if, if prayer was all cards that I had of the correct rune, I think I would have used that a bit more. Anything else that's fun? super care about most of these. Jump to target position place but close. I mean, I think I have enough teleport effects. That's probably fine. Let's get two bull dashes. Put one prayer in there because it's funny, I guess. Doing tropic steps, maybe. Actually, nah. how this performs, I guess. We have aggressive seek cards, which is good. We have a lot of five ofs. Hopefully this will let us complete the challenge. I got to exhume five. I did add a lot of exhume cards in my defense. I think this is probably fine. I guess we'll go for the challenge again. Let's go to the same area. 
because that's the only place we haven't really farmed for cards other than literally the final area of the game. But we've also been to the final area of the game more than we have Magma City, which I find funny, because we cleared so many floors on the tower. Magma City, I think we've only been at the surface. Yeah, we've cleared everything else out. I'm sure, I'll complete another quest here. I figure I have enough time for this versus completing Traveler, so I think next time we'll, uh, maybe just beat this boss as Traveler. Let's see how we feel about it. I love it always warning me about the thing that I didn't clear. Like, we're good. I mean, I might as well just use prayer now, right? No downside. Link Strike's not bad. So yeah, to try to bait them in an Ancient Glyph. Oh, I don't think I took the one where I swap position. That was silly of me. Just realized. I was trying to remember if I was forgetting a card, but I think I forgot to take that. That's good. I should still be able to bait them into walking into it, though. Not the end of the world. Gravestones, but I drew them early, which is not useful. So I know if I were to teleport in a very specific way, it would die. Ooh, that is true. I forgot about for immunity. We can still status ailment them. That's actually kind of interesting. I guess in theory I could do something like this if I wanted to. I guess GG for them. walk forward, do two damage, and that'll kill them. I think these don't really do big damage. I guess I could do this. Okay. So we need to exhume some cards, so we need to start playing a bit more. I guess I could burn one of these arbitrarily if I need to. Still have time to petrify. I could technically go to the next floor in case I don't pass the challenge in enough turns. I guess we'll see. We're fighting a lot of enemies that don't move forward, which is kind of awkward. Healing Crystal up there. I'm a little sad we got Grave Summons first. Grave Summons is like a great card, like 15 cards in. It's not a good starting hand card because unless we have a lot of cards in our graveyard, we don't get a lot of zombies. So it's kind of a dead card early. I guess I could do this. He should split, right? Actually, I can't do that. That's fine. Yeah. I could try to take advantage of the fact that they will probably path in a very stupid way. What is the button to check that? Is it this? It's the turn order. That guy will go first. The question is, will this guy move? That means it would have to come here and here, right? I think this is checkmate. That was easy. Still haven't gotten any of my exhumed cards, which is kind of sad. start putting more cards in the graveyard. I probably don't want to reset anything here. Thank you, Parameter, for the good luck. But since I need cards in the graveyard, I'm not going to reset our cards, even if given the choice. Uh, we're not given the choice. 
world has been revealed to us. Spoilers, though. I already see everything. We need to start drawing more cards. Okay. So on a single floor, I gotta exhume multiple times. Do a bad breath to kind of deal with enemies. So, each use of Morning will give us two Exhume. The question is, do I hold it, or do I burn it immediately? I definitely should get rid of these, no matter what. Yeah, we, we're gonna put more cards in to get rid of. There's no downside, I don't think. Let's try this. Shit is detonate, right? Yeah. Oh, they moved away. I was hoping it would be near the other one. That would have been kind of funny. Uh, we need to draw more exhumes. You're eventually going to come towards us, which doesn't really matter, because all I'm doing is stalling anyway. Um, I guess I could do it now. Yeah, Exhume and the Gravestones go kind of against each other. But I like that I have the ability to draw my cards back. Maybe that's how you make Traveler more playable. Just play it with, uh... That didn't look like an expensive card. Maybe maybe that is the way, so I don't run out of cards mid-battle. So you have to get close to me, right? Huh. Keep your path. GG. Pick how to die. Thank you. Do I burn another card? I think I do. No, no, we'll burn in the next room. We'll burn in the next room. Now, let's do some cards first. Oh, Bishop Snipe doesn't have to teleport. That's fair. That if I need to. Any of the- they're just all targeting the same spot, right? Let's do this. Can we start playing these cards? At least we have some stuff in the graveyard. We'll move up, and then we'll... burn a card, I guess? That way we draw more and possibly draw into our exhum. So we do have a, quite a few. These things should do a lot of damage to the other character. In fact, I think they should kill here. Wow, the fact that they hit three times there is insane. Oh, they can only move for a time. That's fair. Taking damage doesn't really matter. Save a teleport for later. Is there anything else I want to burn? I could throw another gravestone if I want to. Grave will exhume one if you kill it. That's a good question. That's good to know, actually. I wasn't aware that it did that. It probably does. A good catch. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. But sadly, I think my own people are going to body block me here. The only downside about the zombies. I might be fine. I'm gonna go to the treasure room. Wow, I love that that happens like that. That is something. Let's try this. That count towards the quest. It did! Good to know. I have one more exhumed that I need to get. <laughs> That's always a great question of will it count. We had that earlier with, uh, what was it, Traveler? There's one where we had to do the no damage challenge, but I fell to another floor, and I'm like, does that count if I fall to the end? The answer is it apparently counts. It's so sad. I skipped floors, but at what cost? I should have burned some cards here. 
Um, save Gravestone for the next room. Go for something like this. Yeah, let's let's just burn these cards for the sake of burning them, so I can cycle faster. Get rid of this. Oh boy. <laughs> it's like, I've had that happen and do something terrible to me. Uh, I probably want to keep at least one of these. I'll get rid of Deep Frost Wave. I'm gonna hope we draw one more Exhum. We've got a few more rooms to potentially draw it. We have a Gravestone, which will give me one. I think I got seven or eight other cards in the deck still. This'll help. You get a Witch. Now we have it. I guess before I do that, I should do this first. That would be a smart play. Oh, we put it in the frame. That's dumb. Anyway, let's do this. Poison him. Is it worth hexing? I think so. Petrify him to stall, but then I get hit by the other ability. Let's do this so I don't get hit by the other ability. They might walk into the lava, which is funny. Oh, they spawn too. That's useful. Yeah, you guys are ultra dead. GG. It's fine. That's what I had a feeling he would do. Good, that's what I wanted. That Queens teleport him or just burst him. Sadly, if I had one more AP. Yeah, I didn't see a lot of AP gain on this build. So the cards are very good, but no AP gain, which is interesting. There's ways to recycle my cards forever, which is kind of fun. I mean... Isn't this GG? I just place that there. I don't think there's anything he can do, right? He can't reach me with anything, so he should just die. Yeah, Petrify's kind of fun. You control the floor like this. Fortunately, there's not a lot of flying enemies, or else I don't think I can get away with this. That zombie died instantly. Rip that zombie. Oh, he could choose not to fight me, actually. He might go upwards. Okay. The other guy's definitely dead, though. Oh. Alright. That works. Um, that's it for a treasure chest? Just three lava bombs? Huh. <laughs> right? Like, uh, oh, okay, I mean... If that's what you want, I mean, I'll just teleport and do this. I don't really care. I think we take damage. Save time. We'll go this way. Ooh, you're new. I've not seen you before. What do you do? Have you seen these other enemies before? Hunting Ogre. Oh, is he the one that... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Never mind. I remember him a little bit now. We, we just unlocked him, I think, right at the end. So I could go backwards with the kunai if I want to. I have no reason to not just zip through every target here. Three casts. He got immune to melee, so even if he tries something, it shouldn't really matter. One from the bottom. And one from the bottom. That's fine. I could kind of troll him just by doing this. <laughs> well, GG. Enjoy that, I guess. So many body blockers. Look at him go. Thank you, body blockers. Damn, he just got straight up surrounded. I 
I guess give him a salute. He's already dead. I love that it keeps regenerating them, too. That's my favorite part. <laughs> like, I already have as much as, like, an Oracle would build up in a turn, but from one card. They're not as ag aggressive mobility-wise, but they are so stupid good in terms of power. I might as well see what this challenge room is. Collect extra shards, because why not? Ah, oh, just one of these. Do I want to do anything special? I could Queen Blast him once he's lower. I gotta do a little more damage first. Let me think about this. If I can zip, zip here, zip here, but then I can't really target the other guy. Is there anything I could do first? I could do this and hurt myself, which I'm kind of okay with. Sadly, that doesn't line me up with anything, unless I want to kill him with Bishop Moon, which I guess is fine. So he's basically dead no matter what I do next turn. Sure. No turn. Even if he pulls me in, I don't really care. If we had status shot, that would have been so good. Basically, just need him to come to me, and then we're fine. Oh, he's stealthed. Uh, that could be a problem then. Let's walk away from him then. Okay, now we're in a good position. I could get rid of this, and as long as I don't detonate that thing in my face, I think I'm fine. I guess it doesn't matter. I could just sit through him. That works. That's interesting. I kind of like the cards. I want to see what happens when I get, like, their truly top-tier cards. But I see a lot of shenanigans with looping from the graveyard with Exhum. I think that's as far as I'm gonna go. We did basically a full clear of the first floor. I think I'm happy with that. Hopefully this is good enough for the other guy to come back. He's still not back. Maybe I gotta actually clear a dungeon for him to come back? I can't say I paid attention. We, nor we normally one-shot dungeons, but since we're just doing quests and looking to clear them quickly, just doing like one floor challenges. Like I know they didn't come back when we did the no hit challenge, or not the no hit, when we had to do like 40 damage in one turn. We did that. You can see in the guide. It... Were these cards scary for you, or did you use them without problems? Well, you did well regardless. It's time for another tale. A stranger was born to change this world to make it dynamic and prosperous. Where's the will of the four? The fifth was born to be w what they weren't. But some followers of the four didn't accept the stranger. They feared them. They feared the change in the future. Their prayers and wishes materialized into an entity. The usurper is an amalgamation of the wish to retain everything as is and stop the stranger from being. The other four couldn't stop the usurper or even their followers from giving it their faith. In the end, the wish was to keep everything as is. After a bloody war, the usurper was sealed away in a tower with the power of the fifth for a time when the wish for the change would finally overcome the fear. We, the Harai, followers of the stranger, were tasked with protecting those from coming into contact with the usurper. Without proper mastery and understanding of the stranger, the overwhelming fear of change the usurper embodies corrupts the mind and turns one into its will. I guess this is what happened to the one currently atop the tower, but this will not happen to you. Even without my guidance, your mastery of the stranger is natural. 
as if you naturally inclined to accept change and embrace the future. I'm proud of you. I guess you're a master of the stranger now. You're one of us, a hurrah, ready to guide into guide the world into a future that has been not denied to us. Get to the top of the tower and defeat the one enslaved by the will of the usurper and reseal it. Oh, okay. Let us guide the world into accepting change for the proper return of the stranger. Together, friend. Also, take this. It's a well-deserved reward for you. It helps you with your climb to the top of the tower. Oh. Warlock card. Clicks one damage in area, gaining max HP. Then explodes. Any damage based on its max HP. Ooh. That's kind of fun. Oh, did I actually complete all of this quest? Huh. That was short. I didn't expect to be called the master that soon. Do you have anything left before we beat the final dungeon? No. So I guess I'll go clear magma next time. So I will save this deck. I want to make sure next time. Where was my teleport one? We gotta learn card graphics. Here somewhere. Then target mob to another room in the same dungeon floor. We should go talk to him later, maybe. He wants us to go to the tower. Which, to be fair, I've already been there. I got pretty far. I just didn't want to beat the game. <laughs> we could have won like four sessions ago, but it's like, yeah, let's at least do the quests. Yeah, we got a couple swap position ones, which are fine. I think most of these are okay. I do like bad breath. I like that it gets through immunity. I don't think Traveler has a lot of good things that get gets through immunity specifically. We have things I think get rid of immunity, or at least seem to bypass it with status ailments. So either or, we have some better options on other characters. Yeah, I want, I want four of the star relocates. Let's get rid of old bishop's knives. I need that many cards. That's probably fine. I mean, I still have like technically like 12 plus options. I think the deck feels a little better. Sadly, we never drew our seeks. Yeah, our seeks also kind of help with big stuff. We have like infinite cards if we really need it. So, yeah, I think that's probably fine. Having like 10 exhum cards is a, pro probably more than enough in a 60 card draw. Uh, so I don't think there's anything we could do here. I'm still missing this. It's so sad. One day we'll get meditation. Everything else has been conquered. We did the both the draft tournaments already. We did all of these. So there's nothing left to do in the arena. I would like to see what's beyond here, but until we beat Magma City, I don't think we're going to get the card that we need. So we're down to just one quest left in the game. I mean, I'm sure there's more. There's also townspeople we still haven't seen. Oh, we, we did pick up a few of them, though. Though I was missing a few of these. Yeah, I don't think we had, like, the Red Adventure before. But I think everybody else is good. So we're only missing two people? That's not too bad. So yeah, we I must have missed talking to a couple NPCs. I know we came across a couple of travelers. Like, Student I don't think was there right away. Backer NPC from Venistan. We did find most of these, at least. Presumably there's at least one behind the arena gate, and then maybe if we finish all the quests, another person will come in. Find it odd we're missing somebody in here, though. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I remember even from the achievements that we could potentially do. 
So we have we have one arena clear, and then that's it. I remember there was like a little achievement thing for helping somebody build a mirror, but I don't recall anybody that was looking to build something like that. I was just doing a quick look up, but I can't find anything of interest. We'll probably do that next time. Is there anything else I really want to purchase in here with a ridiculous number of, uh, gems? Mind's Eye is fine. Honestly, when we get another rune slot, I don't even know what I'm gonna use. Maybe that'll be my excuse to splash another card color in there. Maybe one of these. I could take immunity to petrify for the tower. Although, honestly, with how much damage we were doing, we probably don't need it. Reduces all healing received to zero. That, that sounds like me playing the Traveler. The free die hard. <laughs> They just don't care about healing. It's fine. So yeah, that's... I don't think there's anything else I could talk to. Unless I missed talking to you or something. I did miss talking to you. I was gonna say, I felt like there was somebody on the outside I didn't talk to. Oh, hello. Tell me, should I build a, brink a blinking mirror? He's next to the tavern. Oh, okay. I didn't see your comment until now. So, I'm guessing this is a Suikoden reference. I'm gonna say what? Like a mirror, I can't build making those. I'm super bored right now, so I thought maybe I should make a pair. It's a super duper good idea, don't you agree? I'd say what? 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 Oh, whatever. I'll build one if I get some mana glass and a craftsman to help me. Friend will thank me and we'll celebrate with a banquet. Whenever a banquet happens, I go off somewhere. That is how I roll or blink. A chew. So yeah, I think this character is a very loose reference for people that haven't played it before to squeak it in. There's a character named Vicky, who is a reoccurring character in that series, who sneezes and often teleports. And she's famous for probably giving you the item called the Blinking Mirror, which teleports you uh, to and from locations. So you would set it up in the castle and then teleport from the Blinking Mirror to another location. So I'm guessing between the Achu, the Blink, Blink was literally the name of one of her rune spells. But they they played a lot of Suikoden. <laughs> That's my takeaway out of this. Kind of a random thing to reference, but sure. Now if they call her Vicky, then the then the full reference is complete. <laughs> I'm so scared to talk to that person again. Okay, so now if I look at the guide, who have I not talked to? One person. Maybe two? Assuming the bottom guy's in the arena, I'm not gonna worry about that. There's just one person I haven't talked to. We'll, we'll find them eventually, chat. I did clean it up a lot more. We were missing seven before, we're down to two. So, mission kind of accomplished. I don't know which random NPC I didn't talk to. I thought I talked to you, for example. Though, I'll figure it out. I might just look it up later. It's not a big deal, I don't think. I just wanted to make sure we got started on, like, the Blinking Mirror quest. Given that we're probably gonna beat the game in maybe one or two more sessions. Depends on how many more quests unlock later. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. We talked to those two... Skill issue character we talked to before. We talked to you... What if I talked to Ninja there before or not? I think everybody else is accounted for. I want to test one thing and then we'll we'll stop for the night. Oh! That was some interesting UI that just happened. Uh, that's kind of nice being able to stack it up. I like that. Similar to the special cards quest. Yeah, I'm not sure I really care about disease at all. I I guess the intent is that for the fight against the Doom Dome, because there's so much healing, you're supposed to poison them, slash disease them, but 
I just feel like a lot of the status damage over time doesn't really matter unless they have immunity. Like, that's the only time where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna think about it. Otherwise, Traveler has just been so stupid. I mean, we, we were able to, with Traveler, gain like 12 AP and have 10 cards in hand. Like, there, there's no situation where I would ever really need more than that. <laughs> I'm like, that would kill every boss in the game. I'm pretty sure. Just having infinite, near infinite usage, quite something. Uh, I don't think there was anything else I wanted to check out. Oh, I could check out Curios one more time. Damn, we're still missing quite a few, surprisingly. Because again, we, we beat the arena. We have one place to explore. So granted, maybe like six of them are towards there, but I'm surprised there's still like this whole upper row and lower row. I would have thought we would have been down to 10 tops. I'm a little disappointed there. Because I'm not sure what things I haven't done to unlock these at this point. Unless there's a quest that needs me to complete the magma place first, which is possible. Traveler is so stupid. Why did they let this charge on movement? <laughs> Honest question. This this is like one of the most unfair relics I've ever seen. That we're, I keep calling it relics, the curios. Holy. You literally you get it between you get it between combat, you get it mid-combat. If you're playing anything that has teleports, it basically just means like, oh, is Traveler all of your mobility? Cool, just draw into it infinitely. So we, we combined a little bit of, I think, Oracle and Traveler, because it was funny. I would just draw literally all my Traveler cards via this. Because it, it's forced to draw Traveler too, so if it's like a splash card, I could just get guaranteed movement every turn. It's so stupid. While still playing the main deck. Are any of these any good now? Start a turn, gain 1 AP if any unit is suffering a wound. This should have... This should have been like a natural card ability. This should not be a curio. I'm sorry. This... This... This makes me so sad that they realized that Raider was missing synergy between wound and grit and all of its mechanics that they are... They are standalone and you build towards what they are, and there's like maybe two cards that really benefit from that crossover of Wound and Grit. And that's it. And like a whole 80 card bundle, two cards that go towards this. Like, I don't see why I would ever want to wound things for the most part in Raider. You have like Claw Swipes, Omni Slash, the other Claw Swipe. Like, how many other multi-hits does it really have in there? Not many. And then compared to, like, all the rank 5 and rank 4s, there's, like, 15 do, do 5 plus damage cards in the top two tiers. It's like, why would I ever do this? And there's not a lot of things that grant wound outside of Raider, either. So it's just... I don't know. It's very weird. Yeah, we were we were playing Queen Mirror Oracle. Honestly, I'm kind of debating. I guess we'll we'll talk about it next time. Next time, I want chat to decide: Are we going to after we beat the beat the Magma Dungeon with uh, Traveler, which will be probably first try because Traveler is stupid? Uh, whether or not we beat the game with Oracle or Traveler, those were the only decks, in my opinion, that really seemed to hold up. Like Warden was fun, but it was definitely very slow. There, there can be potentially some dead hands. I think the later traps helped a lot. And it is fun getting, like, the buzzsaw to, like, buzzsaw a lightning gate, which hits the buzzsaw, which hits these other traps, which hits these. You could you could set up some kind of nice setups with it, but... Honestly, it's like, in the time it takes me to set that up, I could just win with Traveler. Or I could just win with Oracle. His Oracle summons are basically what if what if Gizmos fought on their own? And I don't even need to bother with setup. And they have more support. Start a combat, deal one damage to all enemies, start a give one stealth. Uh, I'm glad they buffed barbed wire. This thing was like legit useless. Root builds were so bad. I think what hurt my opinion towards the root build is that if you play like the ghost library, 
There are so many damn flying enemies. Root is like basically useless. You have one card that works, or at least I only have one card that works on aerial units that root. Every other one is ground based and require you to walk into them. So like they'll ignore webs, they'll ignore uh, roots, they'll ignore basically all of what Warden has and it feels so terrible. So until they have like more cards there, I don't think that's really gonna help that much. Start of turn, copy a spark. That's kind of funny. I would have like, I see, I would have played that with Raider if if I had gotten that much earlier in the run. I already had like this though. Being able to just one damage everything. Raider has big problems, uh, potentially chipping out other people's armor. Suffer double damage. I don't know why I would ever use this, to be honest with you. I'm like, listen, Raiders, Raiders number one trait is taking it to the face and losing all their health. I don't, I don't need it to be doubled. I want card draw and AP. This is like so bad. <laughs> Maybe this is like a challenge run item. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to think. Because most of the time, it, at most it takes two cards to go to grit. I don't know. I've never had problems reaching grit, so I just don't see a use case where this would be worthwhile. Unless I somehow did, like... If I somehow had 60 health or something stupid and I did all health runes, then I guess I would have to lost Suzu for it, I guess. But it's, like, one of those things. Health, health and Raider don't go together. Yeah, Torch Sigil is nice for the, the quests where all I'm trying to do is clear a challenge. Which, honestly, I might bring with me on the next challenge. Oh well. Those are things I'll think about. But I think for now, chat, let's chat. So in terms of updates to the game, it seemed a little more stable. So that's a good sign. Some of the UI stuff is still a little broken. See the beginning of the stream when I had uh, multiple menus open. <laughs> It was asking you to confirm a deletion of a deck while I'm selecting cards, which is kind of scary. Um, let me think what else. I guess most of the card stuff is improved. I think the number one thing we were looking for, which was did they fix cross strike so it made sense, was there. Is that card erroneously before the patch denoted that you damaged yourself? Because it's worded as all units, but the effect does not target your tile, which is confusing. <laughs> so, in the UI, originally it would lower your health. And you can see our previous videos, that did happen, and I got very confused. Because I was like, wait a minute, this is terrible, why would I ever use this? But yeah, now that, it, now that we know, and they fixed the UI to do that, that's kind of nice. Um... They tried to buff Root. I think that was one of our biggest complaints last time, that Root felt so damn bad. I think we had like a nearly pure Root deck because we were going for a specific challenge and it was a miserable, it was miserable start to finish in that dungeon. So maybe now with Root doing double damage as a card and also through Marsh or whatever it's called and the Curio, instead of me only doing two damage at most a turn and doing four, is actually somewhat relevant because a lot of the times we just couldn't kill three HP things and it felt so terrible. But I think from that standpoint, there's still kind of a balance issue with Raider. Like as I said before, Raider is really fun to use versus bosses, but it feels miserable to go through dungeons. We did get new cards, but I don't know I really feel like playing a Raider deck again. Honestly, it felt like the least synergistic between the cards. Like, I'll give an example. Like, Warden requires a lot of setup, and they got almost nothing but buffs in the last patch. So between, like, the Horn stunning for two turns instead of one, and their immunity card giving three turns of immunity instead of just two, they can set up all the gizmos so easy now in late game comparatively. I think at one point when we had the don't take damage challenge, uh, I would have loved to have used the horn, but I remember commenting in that run that I would have liked this, but it both was like too short of a range, and it also didn't last long enough. So like, what was the point of using horn if I only got to place one gizmo down as warden? It felt really bad. 
But now potentially getting, you know, a 7x7 seven seven range instead of a 5x5 five five plus 2 stun turns. Maybe I'll consider revisiting the Warden in the future. I think there was nothing inherently wrong with the Warden. It's just kind of, it's fine. I think it's definitely better than Raider. It has way easier clear time than Raider in terms of like safety. Between just being straight up immune to things, at least I have shields and healing. It honestly is everything, so dying is a pretty low concern with Warden. But uh, yeah. Its main damage issue was just uh, against flying units, things like Magma Mode, Brute, and everything else just didn't work. And we started to get things like the Electric Gates, and we did have the Zappers, which was nice. But only having like 8 cards out of an entire deck of 60 to 80 that actually attack any flying enemies felt pretty terrible. So I'm glad it seems like they rethought some of it. I'm really kind of curious, honestly, if people were watching before my struggle to deal with the Nautilus on the no damage challenge. I almost feel like going back and highlighting that. That was a real struggle. I think I was because I could only melee. I had nothing that worked on him because he float he was floating around at the time, and it just I just couldn't reach him. He kept going over pits. And I'm just like, okay, cool. So hopefully people never have to experience that again. So overall, patch so far seems more stable. It's still a little kludgy. I'm still not a fan of the buttons you use to cancel menus. I've always said that if you're looking at a controller. Circle or B should be your cancel, or if you're going Japanese style, you do A or X. Going PlayStation style. I can adapt to one of those two. Canceling with X or Y feels really weird to me. So you'll still you'll see me mess up those menus constantly because we play all sorts of games in between, sadly. But anyway, that's enough of a rant for now. So I don't really have anything else to really add to the playthrough. It feels like we're basically done. Hopefully we get meditation. If we don't, I'll probably beat the game and move on, unless I think I could get something neat for completing the arena. We are sadly one challenge away, but it's just RNG whether or not we progress. And chat knows how I feel about RNG. So it'll be what it is, I guess. So for now, I guess we'll say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point, the video at the bottom, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.